right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to um, the very start of a new challenge run that I really want to do for a while. Um, we did the, well, a couple challenge runs in the past, but in terms of like the themed runs, we did the Sheikah run a few months ago, and that was really fun. So uh, due to popular requests and also just how fun it is, I thought we would do a second one. And we uh, plan on doing the Gerudo one because the Gerudo have a lot of cool weapons between uh, a few different types of swords, a few shields, and then, you know, their cool sniper bow and few other cool weapons so i thought that would be really cool for a theme challenge run and you know what that's why we're here today and let's see how it goes so probably for today we're gonna obviously clear the plateau first which is pretty straightforward um and then make our way left and west into the desert so let's see how this goes but uh welcome everybody hope you're all having a great uh sunday is that okay <laughs> always forget the day of the week um but yeah Feels like early weekend, but it's already Sunday. That's okay. But welcome, everybody. Also, I don't know why my chat box is being a little bit weird right now. For some reason, it's all one color. Um, let me fix it while we're doing this, at least. <laughs> yep. Leave it to Streamlabs to mess up like this. But uh, <laughs> it's like mostly all one color and then just like... Hmm. Well, good thing we're doing it now. Okay. Why does it want to be like this? It says like the first name is a different color because it's supposed to be like according to the chip, like the actual Twitch chat colors. Uh, let's let's fix that before we move on. This is a uh, just stupid streaming issue. It shouldn't exist, but it's okay. We'll go. There we go. Sorry about this, guys. Don't like doing stuff like this. Why are all the colors like... Okay, there we go. It's fixing itself. Sorry about that. Don't like having to do that stuff while I'm already started, but uh, sometimes it just happens. I can't really test that beforehand. So, welcome. Uh, let's get our Sheikah Slate and start off this challenge. What Divine Beast will I do first? I'm going to go to the desert because, you know, there's all the weapons there. Uh, fun thing about this run and just all the Gerudo stuff is that, well... Pretty much all this stuff is in the desert. Like, you won't find a single Guru weapon, like, anywhere outside, like, the desert or, like, the immediate area, like, around it. Like, it's in, like, none of the other quadrants of the map. So, it'll be pretty easy for getting weapons. Because, um, you know, there's pretty diverse selection. There's a lot, especially in, like, the desert, some of the canyon, a lot in the highlands. So, that region has a lot. So, it'll be kind of fun. And then, what's cool about this is that there's two different uh, armor sets. Like, obviously, there is... The Vey Link, which we'll start out with, but eventually we'll upgrade to the Vo. So hopefully we'll do that soon. Because that set just looks really cool. Gotta skip the chest here. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show, show me the way. way. Okay. Am I allowed to use amiibos? Um, only because it's fitting for the run, I might do the Arbosa one. Because, like, you know, it's appropriate, I feel. In fact, if I'm allowed to use one, I should be able to use that. Yeah, but as always, for the run, um, if you guys want to know the full rules and rundown, um, if you guys check the objective panel, which is just, you know, in the panel section, I have all the little rules and details for the run. So I always update that before every challenge run, for those of you unaware. So, but yeah, welcome, guys. I see a lot of people trickling in just as I'm starting. But yeah, um... Just on the plateau, it's going to be pretty much the same as normal, except one extra thing is that in the snowy area, we're going to try to kill some of the choo-choos and keys because those materials can actually be used to upgrade the bow set. So that'll be nice. That means we won't have to farm them out later. Because to upgrade the whole set to level two, you only need choo-choo and keys in the ice variety. So that's really nice. Am I going to do speedrun strats for the Great Plateau? I don't know the exact speedrun strats because I'm just not much of a speedrunner at all. Uh, I'm just a casual player who likes to challenge himself, I guess. So, uh, But will we go as fast as we can? Yeah, and that's usually what I try doing. With the exception of staying in the cold area for a bit longer than normal just to get some uh, choo-choos and keys and stuff. Okay. Yeah, so Nabor is first. I'm not sure exactly what after that. It'll definitely be a run where we do a lot of desert stuff and then... Uh, Kind of the divine beasts whenever we can but then we go back to the desert to get more materials and whatnot because you know the grudo weapons aren't the most powerful but we'll make do 
Mm. Okay. Let's go over here. So this part's going to be pretty chill. Uh, for those of you asking if there's going to be a YouTube video, yes. All my challenge rooms are. Because it's like, you know, a lot of people like seeing them. And they're really fun to do, honestly. Like, just in terms of, like, themed runs. Could have gotten those apples, but it's okay. Those butterflies flew away. Okay. So pretty vanilla. We'll snag whatever little things we can. You and I sped past a lot already. But, like, apple? Don't mind me. Ooh, choo-choos. I can always take the normal choo-choo deli and transform it to ice before upgrading the gear, so. Head for the point marked on the Seriously, save me? You were so boring, now you're happy. Well, I'm glad. Always happy to entertain. Yeah, I, uh, don't really stream too often besides my Wednesday streams on YouTube, but I've been really looking at changing that. Just, you know, scheduling things have been hard, but as my time's opening up, I've been able to squeeze more time for streaming, and I want to, especially with the summer coming up and everything, so more streams here and everything, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah, so we can kill the Bacoblins, because, like, loose loot's okay. The only loot we can't do is weapons and outfits, hence why we skipped the shirt and everything. And take these arrows though. I never skip out on these. Four, five. Oh, six, thank you. Thank you for adding to my collection. Wait. You go away after like <laughs> set amount. Okay. And now we're Ah! Don't shoot me. Uh, I think those guys can one shot, so we're not gonna. Try to get one shot here. Because no deaths on the plateau. Okay. And the next video is going to be this Tuesday. I announced it in uh, my last post. So I know it's been a little bit longer of a wait since the last one. Uh, I was caught up in researching some things for stats videos. Uh, although the next one's not going to be a stats one. It just, in terms of general production, took a while. And getting verified on YouTube, actually I can soon, uh, because once your channel hits 100,000, uh, then you can apply for verification. Usually you get it within the next couple of days. So, as of right now, I think we're like 400 away from uh, 100,000, so I'm sure most of you guys follow me there. But if you're new, um, my YouTube channel link's in the description, so if you want to follow me there, that would be awesome, because we're going to be hitting in the next couple of days, so I'm very excited. And yes, I will be going for the mail set because it just looks awesome. Uh, key resistance is nice. And then also uh, added benefits of the shock resistance too. Which eventually we will be going for the Thunder Helm too. So like we wouldn't need that shock resistance. But like, it's, you know, the extra armor will help at least. Yeah, but the long waits for video times is almost going to be over because like, the reason why there's always large gaps between my videos is because I usually did stats videos, which was a lot of research just for informative stuff, and then a lot of editing on top of that, and yeah, so there was always a couple week gaps between videos, but like, as some of that stuff's calming down, and there's other types of stuff I want to get out, it's easier for me to make videos at a more, you know, normal speed, so I'm excited for that, along with streaming, and I'll have more time for everything too, so I really do appreciate the support, and just, you know, all the positive feedback about what I put out just really means a lot, so thank you. It ain't it. Um, is that Nike has 1994? I'm sorry, I didn't want to say that wrong, but thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Okay. Try to remember? Nah. I'm gonna try to forget this. Okay. Is run on master mode? Yes. Basically all the runs will be. Like, for these themed runs, because like normal mode would just be too easy. And it's like master mode makes it harder because like, you know, enemies are more brutish and bosses can regen. So I like that better challenge. Okay. 
evolve to crab or go back to monkey i mean i would consider monkey the evolution because monkeys are just in a higher tier than crabs i'm sorry monkeys are like the best animal so if i see something about monkey i will respond and i'll explain why monkey is best her voice okay scheming the plateau stuff usually that's a good way to start because like i mean most of the stuff kind of plays itself but it's like just a good way to get warmed up to the run sort of thing takes us a bit but like at least we'll be able to get some of the winter stuff we need for the Gerudo set in this area so it's not like it's the same as like the last few times i did this and hey limo thank you so much for the prime sub awesome thank you guys yeah um for subs i don't have like a sub counter on screen or anything like i did when i first started but then wasn't as active for a bit but uh eventually with more subs we can get more emotes because we have a few fun ones but uh twitch's requirements for getting more channel emotes is subs so really can't wait for the next one because i do want to add a drill shaft emote on twitch so looking forward to that but yeah we have some fun ones right now we have the bread which is important okay let me show you something okay And hey, AM Dunes, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. And we got a hype train going. Thank you, guys. Okay, awesome. But we are not going to follow all of that because this is a bit more important. Whoosh. Run. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a simple part, and we can get whatever loose loot because another thing about this run that we need to do early is we need to get uh, enough money for the set because I think we need a uh, like around two thousand rupees, I would say. Um, which we can do that. If we get some of the gems along the way, and there's some hidden loot rooms and stuff and chests, we can get. Okay. What's my favorite cereal? Not gonna lie, I haven't had cereal in ages. It's just like, I don't know. When I do have breakfast, it's something like heartier. So cereal feels more like a snack and like, like a good midnight snack. That's my, those are my thoughts on cereal. <laughs> there we go. Omen Owl. Magnesis Trial. Okay. This one will play itself, but with these runes, we can get whatever we can in the plateau. And they'll be a pretty much our only weapons till we get the desert stuff, which I do need. All right. Want to try to finish today? No. Uh, this stream, because it's going to take a while just to get our, you know, ourselves built up, especially with, you know, the desert chapter being the longest out of the four in the game. Uh, so... Our end goal is to do all the desert stuff, you know, upgrade our armor a bunch, get a bunch of the weapons, and then uh, we'll pick up with this run on Thursday, only because uh going to be busy the next two days, and then Wednesday I stream on YouTube. Uh, so, whatever you don't finish today, we'll pick back up on Thursday, and then probably finish on Friday. So, I think that'll be pretty nice. Usually I do my challenge runs all kind of at once, like within a couple day period, but like... If I did that, then I wouldn't have time to get my next video out. And it's been a little too long, so I do want to finish that tomorrow and get it up Tuesday. But, oh, that. We don't need to kill him, it's just fun. Oh. Not working in our favor. <laughs> ah! Okay. We don't want this to be a death. Maybe we shouldn't have focused on him. No, I'm not wrong about that one, but also I need to be right about something. There we go. I'm correct on his death. And, okay. That was worth it. Can get a few materials there. And we'll get the heal after this. Don't worry, I'm actually, I'm not actually going to die. I'm just going to come close maybe a couple times to freak myself out. Woo, a ramp. I mean, I guess that works. Yeah, no plateau deaths. We need to save that for like... I, I don't know. I mean, Yiga Clan might bring us to death if we do it stupidly, which is always that chance, to be honest. Um, and also, the Von Boris boarding segment is going to be hard because the only bows we have available in this run are the Golden Bow, which uh, 
it's it's a sniper bow which is not ideal for that like the range is good but just like with the zoom in it kind of makes us hard we're moving really fast yes yeah, so it is on master mode uh for those of you asking questions just about the run in general uh all the information is in the objective panel uh down below so in terms of run rules and like little details uh i always update it before every run so please check that like if you can so there we go um we yeah, all the Gerudo weapons it's pretty self-explanatory what is and isn't uh so it's the two types of uh, scimitars it's the two types of Gerudo shields Gerudo and radiance uh Gerudo spear oh. golden claymore uh golden bow so all seven of those weapons and then also the Arboso weapons uh but the only other requirement with that is that or a parameter rather is that we can only use them once because technically you can repair it but it would make the run very trivial if you just keep repairing that and use it like for, for all of it <laughs> imagine if i had a hundred percent the game for the oh my god doing a challenge run like this but actually 100 percenting instead of just divine beast main story that would be crazy uh yeah it's it's technically full game that's like the point of the run because like Feel like a popular you know like one category is just being the game itself but it's like considering you can beat the game right after the plateau like that doesn't make things interesting like it's like the divine beasts really feel like a part of the game and sort of the memories but it's like if i'm doing like a challenge run memories aren't really a challenge so i'm not gonna include them that wasn't the deal yep we gotta do that I don't know what order I'm going to do it in this time. I always change it up. Maybe I'll go in through like the actual gates by the Temple of Time. We'll do Bomb Shrine first. Yeah. We'll do Bomb Shrine, then loop our whole way around the cold area just so we get all the good stuff. Uh, get some cold ingredients too. Yeah. Plenty of times for this, but we're also being speedy. You know, we're not, I don't know any good, like, bold handbound strategies for the plateau. And wind bombing doesn't really work well without the, the paraglider, so. Kind of whistle sprint dashes, because it's the uh, safest and easiest way to get over. Also, I see some butterflies flying away that I could be using. If I didn't scare them all off. But as soon as I see them in the distance, they're, they're long gone. Mm, yeah, we'll just go this way. Because they're the stumbling butterflies, which help for uh, cold stuff. But yeah, the thing about this run is that we're going to have to be really take advantage of both elementals. Because there's going to be both cold and hot areas. Because the desert and the highlands. And both have a lot of the good weapons. There we go. Warm and fuzzy elixir. Awesome. You think I'm going to do an amiibo run part two? Um, maybe someday. Like, considering I just, you know, did it, like... It's only so many months ago. Okay, technically it was like half a year ago. But like, sometime in the future, yeah. But it still feels like way too soon to do another like run again. But the Amiibo one's fun because, you know, it's completely random. So it's like, it's one of the only runs I would do twice. Because it's like, you know, it's going to be different. Oh, just, what's in here? Any specific rules, like just to this run? Um, Yeah, just getting the Gruta Helm. Because I feel like for these themed runs like it's like we can do one other like specific little challenge like for the Sheikah one we did a couple months ago we did uh we you had to take on the whole Yuga clan instead of just stealthing by him uh so for this one it's Thunderhelm because you know it's the Grudel's treasure feels appropriate oh no did we forget to pick up that ruby by the shrine we did I could probably use that. I can always warp back at the end of this. Or we'll get it on the way out of the plateau. Because we're we're gonna be heading west, and that's in the way. I'm at 99.7 on YouTube. Okay, so 300 away. That's very close. Uh, thank you for the support, guys. But yeah, we'll definitely be hitting it on the probably by the latest Tuesday, I'm guessing. Maybe tomorrow. I guess we'll see. Sheikah Slut. 
a Sheikah Slate authenticated. <laughs> you wish that they let you summon the bike in the desert. Yeah, it's the desert and the Elden region you can't summon the bike. Which I guess is appropriate because it's like, I feel like if you could summon it in the desert, it just kind of ruins the appeal of like the sand seal mechanic. So I guess I get that. And it makes sense like too hot temperatures. I, I don't know. There we go. Oh. Yeah. A little plateau, like, I've done this, like, I want to say I'm nearing, like, 20 times I've done the plateau. Like, so it's just getting, like, a lot. But it's, like, not a bad thing, because, like, oh. Okay, if we get a weapon, we just drop it right away. Because it's, like, sometimes you don't know. The run's about not using those type of weapons, but if you accidentally equip it, that's different. I'm not one of those people who's gonna like stop a run because of that, because that's just kind of silly. There we go. Okay, uh, that's an amber, I believe? We could use an amber. Any sort of. Yeah. Any, any sort of gem for rupees will be helpful. Do the jewelry items qualify for Guru clothes? Huh. I never thought of it like that, to be honest. I I guess I really forgot about those. Uh, I guess maybe, but like, I'm probably not gonna use them anyways. So like, it honestly doesn't matter too much to me, but I guess we could count those. Like just for people, you know, wondering. And plus I know like when I do challenge runs like this, I always upload like the map of like where the weapons are and Sometimes people then do those runs themselves, which is really cool. So I guess, you know, whichever runs you use, it's unique to your own run. As long as it's true with the concept and theme of what your run's titled. So for this, you know, just Gerudo stuff, getting the Thunder Helm, Divine Beast. Uh, and the only exception for non-Gerudo stuff or just like non-run stuff is Force Mandatory stuff. And in every Divine Beast run, that's always going to be your uh, your Gerudo Vice set and your Zora Armor. Yeah, Gerudo Vice at Zora Armor, um, the arrows that you get, like, before the Divine Beast, because you can't pass those, uh, and then, uh, technically the Bow of Light, and, like, depending on your run, not, you know, you can always change that a bit. Like, for example, this run, like, the Vice that's obviously low, because that is Gerudo, but, like, when I did my Sheikah run, it was also low, because you cannot beat the run without that set, so. There we go. No switch shirt. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun doing the plateau like before these runs because like I can just I talk about anything and answer things openly while I'm just going through it again before the run really kicks off. So that's why usually for videos like it'll start like right after the plateau because it's like, you know, plateau self-explanatory. But the run gets interesting when I get off the plateau. Oop, I forgot about the Lionel. No Lionel. Okay. We don't need that stress. Go! Oh, my whistle did not help there. Please don't see me. That would be stressful. Oh, uh, no, you're gonna stress me out. Don't stress me out. <laughs> Thank you, Lionel. Thank you for making my life just that much easier. Oh, that's a fall. And that's a heart. <laughs> We're getting hearts or stamina, uh, or probably stamina, but we'll do a couple of shrines throughout the run, specifically the ones that have the Grudo loot in them, because it's like, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone, so. Come back to you, Hylia. <laughs> I think we went a little too far forward, but that's okay, I was just trying to, oh, never mind, the gate's right, right ahead of us. Kind of forgot, to be honest. There are three shields, five weapons, and one boat. Yes, if you count the Urbosa stuff. So, nice variety for the Grudo stuff. That's why I really want to do this run. Okay, so... I do need to use that cooking pot. The only thing that sucks is that I don't have weapons. Hmm. Is there... There's probably a cooking pot over there.
Hmm. Yeah, I have a way to do this. Because we can't light that by ourselves, because we can't hold weapons. Grab this stuff. We have to play a dangerous game here. But he can light it, right? No. I forgot, it doesn't really work that way. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't. Huh. Yeah. Those guys will one-shot us, so I can't. Where is a Is there a lit plot potter on here? <laughs> a lit plot? Yeah. That's like the only tedious thing we gotta do. There's a lit pot down by the broken bridge. Uh, I'm trying to remember, but I don't remember there being a pot. Ooh, okay. He's got a torch. If I could like, cause I don't think direct. Oh, if he does that spin move, maybe. If it doesn't work, then I for sure know that it won't work in general. Do your spin attack. Yeah, see, you went right over it. I just wanted to like confirm that just to make sure it wasn't like a couple pixels off or something. Does the old man have one in his house? I think he might. Okay. Yeah. Hey, tedious stuff, but this will be probably it for it. Okay, we'll be fine. Mm. Yeah, I want to say that's a lit one. You're right. Thank you. It's okay, we're just being by. Don't need to worry too much about my health, because, like, the shrines always restore us. And, yeah. Voset is Gerudo. If you think it's Gerudo, it's Gerudo. So, Voset, Viset, all the cool weapons, all Gerudo. There we go. Get them peppers. Don't blow me up. Oh, the bomb crushed it. Wait, let's see if we can do it again. Wait, no, I got, I got it this time. Crush it! Ah! This one, like, just, like, really just close and good luck. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, that crushed it, though. What do we get? I don't know if it skids somewhere. You know, that's fine. I was just kind of horsing around for a second there. So now we can cook. Let's cook up, uh, maybe just some threes. No, Highlands is going to require more. That's good for, like, plateau stuff. We don't need that many. Just, like, a one. There we go. I don't think five peppers can give us a level two, can it? No, it can if it criticals. So, you know, we're gonna do, we're just gonna cook a couple. And if a critical's an awesome, or maybe we'll hold some. Yeah, we will definitely hold some. We'll, we'll cross that bridge a little bit later, maybe. But if we do get a critical, then it could be level two, which will be nice. But it's still kind of a low chance. So, I can't depend on it. Uh, what do we got? Stimula shrooms. This stuff in general will just be helpful, because. In case we uh, counter some long. Climbs. If we fall a bit. There we go. And then I think just one more we'll do a nice mushroom. Apple. Whatever. Sort of single heart. I'll feel less guilty if I cook it up first. There we go. Sheikah bomb. Oh. <laughs> the axe just went flying. Okay. Okay. Um. So we did that. Now we can head on over. <laughs> the pitchfork. I want to do a run where it's all like kind of like mean weapons, like pitchforks and hoes and stuff like that. The boat oars, fishing harpoons. There's a lot of those funny weapons. Wooden mop. <laughs> How's my day going? It's going great, honestly. I'm just happy to do this. So I was looking forward to starting this run. Happy I'm doing it today. So yeah, it's been fun. Hopefully everyone else is having a good time too. It's a good chill Sunday. Oh. Only thing that sucks about Woods of Spring is it does work for noise, so although you can't hear it, it's technically an exploit, so like it's creating a lot of noise. 
like equivalent to like an actual whistle, just without playing the whistle. So. Okay. Now, we have to encounter those guys. We can go into the cold. Okay. We'll go off the. Seven minute one? Yeah, because we're going to be here for a bit more than going back. Oh, not ice keys. Important to kill the. Oh! Missed that kill. Can't blow ourselves up, though. That's important. Oh, no. Yeah. Master mode. Nope. Oh, kind of doesn't see me. Should we leave it that way? Oh, I'm going back anyways. I want the wood. Literally going back for wood. I don't care. I can get it from trees, but... It's here right now. And what's in the... Oh, there's a pot right there. Yeah, but it's unlit, so... I don't know if that dropped anything. Oh! It's a mistake! Nice. And yeah, Goron Run will be impossible, because there's no shield, there's no bow, there's no one-handed sword. I mean, the bow is the main important one that we need, but like, it's only hammer weapons plus the drill shaft, which... You know, it's, it's tempting, because, like, I love the drill shafts, my favorite weapon, but, like, the other weapons just won't help us out, and it will be pretty much impossible without some other modifications. Oh, okay. I don't know where the ice keys are. Oh. Nope. Can't kill us. We do need all this. Choo-choo jellies. Ice key swings. Probably ice keys on the other side of the river. I'm just assuming. And like, yeah, uh, any... Any Koroxies will be helpful too, because like, there's gonna be a lot of Gerudo weapons, so... A lot of Gerudo weapons means that we need space to hold them. You probably won't get the upgrades after, uh... Or until after the first Divine Beast, because that's when we'll be heading over to like, the Kakariko area. But we'll get a couple. But it's still a decent amount of slots, like... It's just like the four shield slots isn't too lot, but like, we'll make do until then. Okay. And yeah, for those of you asking about the run, uh, all the details are in the panel section, uh, under the objective panel specifically, which I always update before we run. Which, I have a question about that. I don't really watch, like, too much Twitch. Like, most of the streaming I've ever done and watched was on YouTube. So, like, is it normal for streamers to, like, put, like, the run details in the description? Or, like, how is that done usually? Or to, like, not all streamers, like, post that sort of info? Because I don't really know. <laughs> I just want to make sure everyone who is seeking the information is informed about what I'm doing. Because it's, like, you know, makes it more interesting. That was fun. <laughs> Um, wait, who saw me? Oh, you. <laughs> I didn't even notice you, really. I was so preoccupied. A commander on screen. Yeah, I guess because some streamers have, like, little, uh, like, the actual game screen's, like, shorter, and then they have more, like, info on screen. Personally, I prefer the cleaner look. Uh, but, like, the command, it's, like, I do have a command. It's, uh... Run rules. Crap, I forgot. My mod made it. Uh, but yeah, it's in the panels. It, it's just a lighter version of what the actual full rules are, because that just would be a lot more words, and they'll just clog up chat every single time someone does it. So I feel like the panels works well. It's just not as accessible as like the description is on like YouTube. So. Okay, I'm just fooling around. Let's get this. Oh, okay. I don't like these guys. Run. Ugh. Yeah, if they get hit into you during that bomb blast, uh, you'll get frozen. So we don't want that. It won't kill us. Because three hearts is decent, but yeah. 
We still have 316. I wonder... Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if... I think some spawn over here. I could be wrong. Then again, it's like... Is it worth checking? If I don't get a key spy like the tree, then we'll just go up that. I forgot that that uh, walkway's there. But helpful. <laughs> We need like a decent amount. And wow, we got a lot in that blast. Okay. Ice keys. Okay, two. That's nice. We need less ice key swings than these guys, but still need them nonetheless, so. And like, whatever we don't get here, we can get when we go to the snowy area. But like, I may not go to the snowy area for weapons until after Naboris. But it will be helpful to have the level two set before uh, we face Thunderblight, though. Because that electric resistance will be nice. Like, really, really nice. And yes, for questions about uh, what runs I will do next, there's probably going to be a lot of runs I do. Like, see a lot for, like, ancient or, like, monster weapons and stuff. Uh, so it all depends on what's next. Um, so, if there's a run concept that seems interesting, there's just a good chance I'll probably do it. Just a matter of one. So... Hopefully a lot all throughout the year, because hopefully by year's end, early next year, we'll have Breath of the Wild 2. So, we got to focus on that for a little while. Doesn't mean this game's going anywhere. Like, it's like, I, I feel like just like with sequels in general, some people feel like the old game's just like going to disappear. Which, it may for a while, because like, obviously new game. But like, this game's legacy is it's just going to last, you know, forever. I mean, think of like other games, like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Like, these 20-year-old games are still very relevant today, because they're just good. And... That's how Breath of the Wild is. Like, it's still four years young, but even with half a dozen Zelda games in front of it, like, we'll still be playing this game. Along with the new ones, so. There we go. Two orbs, two shrines. Now, uh... Cryonis. <laughs> yeah. Breath of the Wild is not dying anytime soon. And, like, I can't even use the word dying when it comes to, like, you know, just, especially a Zelda game. Because, like, pretty much all of them still hold some relevancy. They're only held back by how they're, you know, available. Because you can't, you know, if you own a Switch, you can't just go and play, like, Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. Uh, Wii U owners can. People who use emulators can. But it's, like, as soon as you bring those forward, which are, you know, 15-ish year old games, like, they'll be even more relevant. And they're great games, too. But yeah, Happy Skyward Swords coming to the Switch this year. I will be playing that on stream. Jewel Shaft is the most OP thing ever. I think I can do a Jewel Shaft only run. That would be amazing. Like in terms of just weaponry. That is something I just wanted to like do more of. Because I love the Jewel Shaft. And like, as much as I meme about it though, like, it is like, very unique in a lot of ways. So, like, just in terms of like, mining capability. How it can just like, insta-shatter like a lot of like, rock-based things. Just like hammers can, but the Jewel Shaft has the benefit of, well... High durability, high speed, and uh, also can shatter things while throwing it as a weapon without breaking it. So it's really cool. I love my drill shaft. I don't love this guy though. I think he can. He might be able to one shot us. I think so. He did it once before, but I'm not sure if I was at low heart when he did. So. Wait for him to shoot. Now we go. <laughs> I just don't want to risk it. No deaths. That's a soldier spear in there. Out of all the plateau loot, that kind of sucks. It's like three damage for that. What color switch do I have? I uh, I got the gray ones because I got my switch on launch day. So I still have one of those switches. Uh, it's between either gray and red and blue. As much as I, like, I thought red and blue was kind of cool. Like just like, you know, I want something like neutral because like first game I was playing on it was like Zelda and just like, you know. Didn't really fit the party color aesthetic, so that's what I had coming into it. That was before I got the pro controller. Uh, and then eventually I did get a pair of red and blues because, you know, I wanted more in case I was like, you know, playing games with like my friends, like Mario Kart or Party. Okay. So now we'll just have one more. Probably get some more stuff along with it. I'll probably do a, let's see, that was like a seven and a half minute one. We still have nine seconds, wow. 
This will nab. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that slide. Lola's physics, though. I think a five minute one will do. Because we'll, the time won't be eaten up in the shrine. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like that's the most thing about. Most fun thing about doing Plateau stuff on stream is that I can just like talk for a while before like I get inv really invested in the run because it's just like we're just like extreme vibing. So <laughs> not really focused on where the weapons are and what I should get next. Mm. So where should we go? Mont Hylia. That's, that's if we want to do Blade, which we can't for this run. No wind bomb yet and. For, like, transportation, we'll still get a horse. Because, like, you know, it's better than wind-bombing all the way to, like, Death Mountain. Uh, I don't know. Is it is it just me, or did the, like, the keys and stuff feel like they spawned more during the nighttime? Maybe it was just, like, my luck and, like, where I was. Like, just in, like, runs in general. Not necessarily right now. Uh, can't jump in the water. That's not smart. Ooh, that's... I don't know where that was going. Makes sense because they're bats, yeah. Because, like, I know bats spawn, like, at the night, like, in general, but, like, some, like, monsters have, like, set spawns. Like, just, like, if you walk over that location, they're going to spawn, sort of thing. L like the choo-choos. Like, not really random, but they're just placed in. But, like, with the keys, like, it works both off a random system, but there are, like, some set spawns. So, like, I don't know if the ones I found were, like, the set spawn ones or, like, how that worked. I don't know everything. I'm just going off my blatant observations here. But yeah, it makes sense that they're bats, but, like... Okay. I guess just, like, the elemental bats are a little bit different. So, like, don't always need night. If it's normal bats, it's a little bit more clear. Yeah, no choo shoes even. It could be that way. If it's Gerudo only one, can I only get the giant horse? I mean, that is kind of funny because, like, it's like the Gerudo horse, like Gandorf's horse. But no, we're going to be getting whatever horse we find, so. Do the key swings change color based on what element you hit them with? Like choo shoes? No. Uh,. There are set elements, just kind of like Lizzle Tails, but uh, yeah, the choo-choos you can change color with the element thing, so, which is cool. Uh, in all honesty, I could have just switched the time to nighttime, but it's like, we're going to be finding stuff anyways. So, I know we have enough stuff for, like, the first upgrade, which is more than enough. Because, like, I think each piece is, like, uh, three choo-choo jellies to get to level one. So, we, we definitely have nine ice choo-choos. And then, yeah. We'll do more afterwards. Stasis. <laughs> And what's nice about doing this one last is that you don't have to do the climb down. Undo that. Oop. Don't even have to use stasis. Just skills. Okay, so for this part, though, I think we can benefit from... Um... Yeah. We're gonna have to use the bomb method. And then as soon as it recharges, we fire the last one. Just one more that works. Yeah. That has definitely worked in the past. I feel like we just got a bad angle. Okay, one more time. Because I have done that 100% before. Oh, you, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Uh... Mm. 
Mm. That makes me mad. Just mad at myself. Not at anything else but myself. Okay. Put that there. It only takes three. I just tilted the controller stick wrong. Like, that's literally... So I was trying to do it kind of like to the side. I don't know. There we go. That's what I should have done. I kind of had it at, like, the bottom there. So it kind of propelled up and then went out. Yes. We tried. Amazing. Thank you for the emotes. I could have used Magnesis on the hammer. Does that work like that? I guess I never tried it. Because I know you can hit, like, enemies and stuff with enough momentum. I guess I always forget about that, to be honest. I never knew it worked with stasis, so never thought to try it. Well, next time we will. Because there's definitely going to be other times where we do runs where we have nothing, so. But yeah, all four shrines done. Uh, 49 minutes in. Awesome. I think, uh, yeah, we'll just quickly, hmm. Yeah, we'll quickly look at the snowy area. Just while our timer's still going. I'm just going to walk back to that other shrine. There's probably going to be some keys around, because I'll kill a couple more. Or... Should I? Just me being indecisive. So it's like, yeah, that'll be all right. I don't feel like it's worth it. Yeah, we have enough. We have enough for the tier ones, and then uh, we'll do more once we're in the highlands. Because there's gonna be a lot of snow stuff, not as much as like desert and like other stuff, but more than normal. Uh, so there we go. Isolated plateau. Let's go. Shrine of Resurrection. Mad dash to the Temple of Time, and then, boom, we can do it. Okay. Uh, so, as soon as we get there and we trigger the King cutscene, we'll just let that play out for a bit, and then uh, that's where the run really starts. Like, the paragliders, like, where it all really begins, and then we can make our way west and go from there. So, whoosh, let's go. We hope you're all having a great day, though. Great Sunday. Uh, it's been fun streaming so far. Just the intro to this run. So we'll do this. Uh, our end goal for today is to defeat Vanaboris, which only a single Divine Beast, but it's like a lot of pre sets because, like, you know, long chapters has the Yiga stuff. We got to get all of our weapons, you know. So that'll be a good end game for today. Then we're going to be picking up with the bulk of the run then Thursday and Friday this week. So I'm excited for that. So two more Divine Beasts, Thunderhelm, all that stuff. And I might as well, yeah, get the Korok over here. Because we will need just a couple of seeds. And, like, I'm not really going to go my way for them. But whatever I do, encounter I will. I'm going to grab the ruby at the Magnesis Shrine. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we'll do that right after we get the Paraglider. And I messed up. Okay. <laughs> not really. We have Vantage Point, so we can go whoosh. Is there an amber in here? I want to say there's an amber. Not 100% though. Even better, okay. I need these gems. Because like, yeah, the Gruda set by itself is 2,000. Uh, the Vice set's 600. Or it's probably a little more than 2,000. So I feel like with all the armor, we're going to be spending like around 3,000 rupees, which is a lot. Whoosh, run. I know these pots have, uh, oh, no. Okay. I should never, uh, startled him. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I was like, just like, really just, you know, not too worried there. And then just all the worry came to me in like a second. That time was more controlled. What's in here? What's in here? Traveler's boat. No. No boat. Not allowed. Not allowed. Don't throw rocks at me. Nope. Wait. Make it up to there, can we? This is bad. This is bad. 
we're not in a good place right now. Ooh, okay, bye bye. Just for those arrows. And this is not good. Okay. <laughs> those stressful just for like eight arrows, probably. Uh, okay. Stressing myself out for dumb reasons. But I guess it was worth it. Couple orbs here. Heart container. Stamina. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. We got it. <laughs> So now, yeah, whistle sprinting doesn't help. I, I agree. When you're trying to not get hit by things, it's just, you know, me trying to be quick about it because I've been through this a million times and just like plateau over. And for those asking about jewelry, like, I guess technically we can get it, but we're not going to. Because I never even thought about that before the run, so it's like, because of that, I only thought of the things that are allowed and Julie wasn't included. So, we'll just say no, both for the fact that I don't want to get them, and also, we shouldn't because I never included it in the rules before I started, so. There we go, King Cutscene. And hey, thank you, Zen, for the Prime sub. Is that Zen... Whenever there's an X in the name, it's like, how do I pronounce it? But, uh, thank you so much. I'm sorry. Usually, like, pronounce the name. Say Zen X service, I think. I'm sorry. But thank you so much. Um, but yeah. I think while this is going to play out, just going to quickly use the restroom because uh probably do that before we get into everything good. So I'll let this uh, memory play out. And probably by the time it's over, I'll be back. So um, just give me like two minutes-ish. So. And then we can really kick things off, which I'm excited for. So chair strings. created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. Okay. 100 years I'm ago, returning. there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her Hi. <laughs> Uh, it was sorry about that, but I am back, officially now, part. so. I forgot how long this cutscene was. I feel like just in terms of, like, the full length, it's, like, with the King's Speech, and this is, like, eight minutes or something. So, uh, we know the story. I'm gonna skip the rest of this, because we... There we go. That's, like, the first part of it. <laughs> Might as well have something playing while I'm away. <laughs> Sorry, Santa speech. My dear. Be skipping that. Hmm. The paraglider. Yes. And oh yeah, more dialogue. <laughs> Never used to it. It's not as bad as the Zoro's domain dialogue. You have to sit there like, it feels like an hour worth of just talking. Just before you can do the B stuff. Okay. Awesome. Finally have the paraglider, so we can now move on to the desert. 
which should be pretty nice after we get the um our gemstone okay so let's do that then we'll probably warp to the um the snowy shrine because that's just the closest area to going you know west we'll do that that's pretty fast for the plateau just you know got ourselves some materials for upgrading the stat which will be nice I like how it was like raining just for like a little bit for no reason. I don't feel like it ever rained on the plateau for me like right after it. Like I don't think it rains on the plateau until after uh, you get the paraglider. But like the fact that it just rained for a little bit then didn't. At least you can skip cutscenes in this game. Yeah. <laughs> it's always helpful because like, you know, you can always assume that it's always first person's playing it. And like sometimes they're just trying to get through the game. The Dig Dog Suspension Bridge, there is two diamonds next to your Brutal Shield. I'll see where that is, because we are heading there, so. Mm. Okay. I'm just doing some immediate scouting before. You know what? Really quickly, I'm going to get those uh, arrows. Yeah, because we'll have those arrows teleport over, and we'll be good. You can use the uh, Magnesis method, but like, this is easier. So most people forget that uh, Kryonis works on mud. <laughs> How's my day? My day is going really great. I'm happy that I'm here. Hopefully yours is too. Ice arrows. Okay. Um, looking around. Yeah. I'll go with the plateau. We have the paraglider, so uh, now we can move on to the desert. Happy about that. Uh, let's go here. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff, uh, especially like right at the bridge. Like starting at the bridge, there's a lot of loot, especially in Master Mode. There's some balloons with some loot. Um, and then you can just kind of follow the path into the desert. So there is some stuff in the canyons too, but you know, we can do whatever we come across, but most of it's in the desert. So we'll have plenty of stuff to work with. Why is it snowing? I don't like snow. Wait, what time of day is it? 3.40? Let's go to the afternoon. Just so we're doing stuff while it's bright out. Oh, we can't light stuff on fire, can we? I don't know, I'm thinking like that. Just like... Yes. Okay. Don't want to freeze to death. Okay, we just gotta head west, though, because uh, right after the plateau is uh, all the canyon areas in the desert, so... There's going to be a lot of Grudo weapons right away. Okay. It's going down here. It's a Hinox. A balloon. We're going to start at the other end, though. Kind of make our way across. Let's dig dog. I'm not sure where the diamonds were. If we don't find them, that's okay. There's plenty of other ways to get money. Okay. There's no way he heard me. There's no way he heard me there. Oh no. Okay. Oh, he has a Gruda weapon on his neck. Okay, we will be getting that. Let's sit down or something. Mm. Don't want to get clapped right away. But I like that weapon. Can't make Nisus pull it. I know you can follow me this far. Oh my god. Right off the platform, there's a giant black Hinox just chasing us. Yeah. No. Wait, 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 wait. Come here, Hinox. Yes! Oh wait, no. Soldier Spear. Get yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Gotta drop the soldier spear. Okay, there we go. First Grudel weapon, a Moonlight Skimitar, which is the better of the two. Thank you, Hinox. You've been helpful. Hmm. I do need a way on there. That was a good thing on there. 
But we need to get him down somehow. Hmm. If only there's a metal chest, this would be a lot easier. Oh, there's a metal chest. I think that's what we need, actually. Yeah, we need to get those guys, but... Oh, my. <laughs> okay, bomb arrows. Hmm. You know, what can we do? <gasps> you know what? I have a plan for this. Because there's a... Uh... On two of these platforms here, there is Gerudo shields. I do want them. We do need to shoot them down, though, which... Hmm. Means we do have to get a bow. And I know there's a bow around here, too. So we're going to go for the bow. But first, there's a warp point. I think just right around here. Might as well get the warp point, because we'll have to go warp back here when doing the other Divine Beast. So we'll get that right now. And then I know... If a golden bullets around here that we can use to snipe those bacobbles off and then get the good loot. Those are diamonds in those chests. Okay. Yeah, but that stuff's going to fall, isn't it? So in case we fall down with them. There we go. Stable right over here. We'll uh, get our warp. Where is it? <laughs> Did I go too far? Oh, just slightly. No, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to enter the shrine. I'm an idiot. Great. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> ooh, shrine. This is ooh, shrine. This is literally the ooh, shrine, though. Like, you cover up Rada and it's like... When you see a shrine, ooh, a shrine. The reaction shrine. Okay, worth it for that one reason. <laughs> the ooh shrine is elite. Oh my god. The Croton Pog emote. <laughs> Happy you like it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, now we have some elevation. Gotta wait for all the DLC rewards to go away. Imagine being a new player who just got the DLC because he think it's like normal and it's like just trying to like explore like an open world. It's like a million like things to do. It's like goes strictly against the spirit of this game. I don't like it, but it's like, okay. <laughs> Violet. Thank you. <laughs> Might as well take anything. Oh. A Serper King. Is that a Serper? I don't even know. There we go. Bats. It's only eight. Okay, technically it is like kind of night. Ah. Get away. <laughs> the Xenoblade one. The one we'll never do. Ah. Wait. Oh, we did get some. Okay. Don't roll down. Only drop some. Yes, yeah, so this is in master mode. Uh, for run information, it's in the panels. So I'm not going to always ask when people... Well, I'm not always going to answer when people ask because it's like it is in the objective section. And like I don't want to repeat myself every like three minutes. Just for future reference. Huh. Okay, so... I think right around here on this nice platform... There we go. That's our golden bow with quick shots. So that'll be, that'll be really nice. He's hiding right there. Mm. Well, I feel like climbing will be kind of hell. But I see you over there. I need to take you out. I say we warp back. Because we don't have the stamina to get up there, really. That's the only thing that sucks. Let's use all our food, which even then, it's like we won't have enough. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta... Let's make those decisions, because that's why we had the war point. 
That's why we're trying to focus on stamina, so it's like, get around easier. There is nice gear in master mode. So it's upgraded like that, which is always helpful. I forgot that was a master mode one, to be honest, so I was surprised to see the modifier. That was like one of the water ones. Okay. Run around here. Ooh. Good, good, good. There we go. I always thought that was a really cool bridge, though. I just like how everything's like suspended and whatnot. <gasps> no, not keys! What? <laughs> that came out of nowhere! <laughs> not right at the beginning. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> That literally came out of nowhere. Oh, I hate that. That's so dumb. Ah. But like, that really did come out of nowhere though. Stemmed off of nothingness. Okay, well we have the better vantage point. Cause it probably saved, well, it saved right after that chest opened, but then the last actual ground location was up there. Technically, you could have just reloaded that save. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, I see you, Bacoblins. You are not going to be an issue. There we go. And, oh, his friends didn't even see me. Perfect. A little too far for us to grab. Ah, we'll call him up. And we're at the headshot range. We gotta get it. <laughs> yes, okay. And open it up to get. Oh, diamond. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I guess that wasn't the shield. Maybe it's in that wooden one. Probably is. The diamond will be very helpful though, so. We really need those rupees for uh, the set. Perfect. Okay, I believe this one is what I'm after. Grudo shield, yes, and it has durability up. Very helpful. Oop. No, <laughs> okay. That's good. Now we gotta move on. We just started this out and we already have a uh, sword, bow, and shield just right off the plateau. This is pretty awesome. Thank you, Desert, for being like right here next to the starting location. Yeah, I'm not gonna grab every chest, unless we really need it. Oh, yeah, by the time we get make it to the desert, it's gonna be like scorching hot. Oh, no, no bats. <laughs> we can't have a repeat of last time. I swear they really come out of nowhere. Okay, I think that's our uh, second batch of archers. Our second going for a good weapon. Love that I have this bow. I'll bring it here. Open this chest for another Grudel shield with durability again. Okay, good start for the shields. These can ride us out for a bit. Oh, was it diamond in another chest? That's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. Oh my god, Archer Bokos. Uh, he has a horse that I want, though. I want the horse. No, I will shot him. Look, he came right to me. I think it was meant to be. Please don't shoot me off. Please don't shoot me off. No. <laughs> okay. And more horses. Wait, did they just respawn? I think they did. That was weird. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of a chaotic start to this, but no, that's okay. Oh, 
No, I didn't know they're still following me. Ah, too many close calls. I don't see any of them coming. It's okay. As soon as we build ourselves up again, then we won't have an issue with any of this stuff. I almost shot the horse previously. Yes. This is a cool horse, you know? I'm always a big fan of spotted horses. And from here, I'm just going to make it to that uh, stable. And there is a nice... There's like at least a few Gerudo weapons by that stable. Including one in the shrine, which we'll probably do. Because as long as I do like at least four shrines, just so I can get like another heart, probably. Or stamina wheel. We'll probably say stamina wheel. Um, Because like, we'll get the heart containers throughout the run. And like, having more stamina for both stuff will be nice. Ah! No rocks. No more chaoticness, but it'll get pretty chill when we're in the desert. Oh! <laughs> spotted horses look cool. You just don't own any of them because you load the stables with the fast ones. Yeah, because the spotted ones are, you know, all the cheaper ones. They don't go very fast. They usually have low stamina. Uh, the solid ones are pretty much always meant to be better, so. But, yeah, it is a nice aesthetic, you know, so. And, hey, if it's free right in front of me so why not yeah. no I always grow really attached to the horses that I use we gotta give this one a nice name though oh roadblock you're not preventing me from registering him this is my friend I hate using such a good we weapon now Wait a second. Oh, he has a bow, he has a bow, he has a bow. Okay, no. A lot of threats in the desert, oh my god. There we go. Get all this stuff. We'll just that too, okay. Uh, we do have a metal one. So we'll push this one all the way. Push them all out of here. I need to take my horse through. There we go. Okay. Horse. Adventure. And there we go. Okay. The calm before the storm. I guess we'll see. Because we started with the storm. New horse too? No. We can't continue the legacy in New Horse because he's just he's resting now. <laughs> Boop! Another quark. Over here. Bomb rocks. I wanna skip those. I didn't want to be interrupted. So many name suggestions for my horse. Yeah. Hmm. I think I got a good one though. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Canyon stable. Oh, don't jump over the rock. <laughs> Gotta register you first. There we go. Looking peppy today. I do know about the stable system. I don't need the dialogue. <laughs> Um, register a horse. Yes. New horse? Okay. It's got at least three speed. But, I think I got a, a name for it. Oh, we need rupees. <laughs> okay. We need some rupees first so we can register it. It's going to sell off some of our ores. Not buy. That I've got. Yeah, so we already got a bit of ores on the plateau and a little bit after it. So that'll be helpful for selling. Uh, for anything that we need rupees for. Especially outfits. Because, like, it's going to be, like, a combined, like, 3,000 rupees for both the Gerudo outfits. So I think we'll be able to 
get those rupees soon though. Sell this diamond. Yeah, already a good start for all this. And yeah, we have a lot of materials too uh, for upgrading the Gerudo set. Oh. But first, we gotta register you. Not gonna be much uh, use in the desert, but hey, need it for later. New horse. Can pay the fee. And honestly, in the spirit of the desert stuff, uh, I think I have a nice deserty name. Ar the Arbiter. Just in spirit of uh, Arbiter's Ground, so. An actual normal name this time. Semi normal name, at least. Uh, I think that's how you spell it, right? Arbiter. Uh, Arbiter. I think. We'll go with it. Those of you who play Twilight Princess will understand. You know what? Ah. Arbiter. I think that's a good name for a desert horse. So. That'll complete the aesthetic nicely as soon as we have our, our Grudo gear. I had to think about that one. I was like, hmm, what's something cool I can do? It's like Zelda like. Okay. But before we head directly into the desert, we do need to get the few weapons around here. There's a chest just right here, outside the stable, with the Grudel Scimitar, so that'll be nice. Even just the weaker weapons will be helpful for just general uses, you know. We'll save the stronger ones for bosses, uh, weaker ones for whatever herrings get in our way. Ah, missed. The shrine here has more stuff. Okay. Forgot what like, half these shrines are. I just know it probably has something to do with electricity because that's like all the shrines are on here. Oh, power of electricity, literally. It was just an assumption and I didn't remember what was here, but yeah, it's best to assume in those cases. You know, whistle stuff for now. Oh, we need another ball. There it is. And there you are. Okay. Can't let this guy be an issue. Yeah. I'm not risking it. Little by little. <laughs> He's kind of a bad shot, though. Ah. Okay. The angle is too bad for him. Now I can progress. Yeah, those guys with Master Mode, they just have way too much health. It's not even worth it. And the loot's not going to be helpful, too. There we go. Thankfully, bad, ga <laughs> bad guys have such bad aim. <laughs> so true. And eventually, take that away. Okay, good. It's too slow. Do I need to move it closer? No. I don't even know if we need it from the next part. Oh boy. That guy's a sword. <gasps> no! We got sniped in the shrine! Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, these guys have way too much health to take off my current weapons. I would use all my weapons to kill them. <gasps> ah, we're one shot by everything that's throwing us off. But yeah, we have the key, so. I don't think I ever, I don't remember the last time I died in a shrine, to be honest. I don't even know if I need that thing. Oh, 
probably do. I mean, no, there's another way. Just like that. Bring it over. Perfect. Now where's the uh, chest? Don't get zapped in the water there. Wherever he is. Mm, I don't see it around. No, I don't see it. Kind of squeeze on over here. Oh, that was up. There it is. Okay, nice hidden chest there. Get the nice hidden chest here. Four. Another Gruta weapon. Okay, we will take it. Anything to build ourselves up a bit at the start. Okay, we're doing good. Yeah, probably another stamina because we'll be getting hearts of the divine beasts. I only plan on probably doing like four shrines in this run because like, you know, we don't need to do all of them. And like, I'm only going to do the, some of the shrines that have the Gruta weapons in them because it's like dual purpose, you know? Get a spirit orb, but also get another weapon or two. Some of the shrines have two. So I'll be hitting for those more often than not. Okay. We'll equip, yeah, the crappy one for now. The shield's really nice, but it's surprising that there was an even better looking one. Winter wing. There we go. Finally here, there's a... There is a golden bow around here, too. Another one. Go. Yes, this chest. Golden bow, yes. I always need a second one. Basically, we're going to be stocking up on these because it's the only bow we can have. All right. We have two golden bows, two shields, three swords, I think. We're pretty good to venture in now. Let's do it. Okay. I know that one of these guys has something. Oh, they're white bacoblins? Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh. Maybe. Ah. Yeah, we can't really disarm that guy because he's a shock one. I really want to stuff, though. Maybe I'll have to... Hmm. Crap. Maybe we'll come back when we have something stronger. Yeah, we'll have to come back when we're stronger. Because, like, we're literally going to bust all of our weapons trying to get his, his weapons, so. Oh, man. Whew. Because how much health do these guys have? Oh, we can take them on. Come on, drop your weapons. I want them. Come here. Oh, there we go. He dropped them. Yes. Thank you. Not worth killing, but I wanted that. Okay. Just using this time to stockpile on all of our weapons. Maybe command with the allowed weapons and armor. I mean, it's just Gerudo stuff, so it's like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just the two Gerudo outfits. If it says Gerudo in the name or Golden, I'm like, you know, it's it's pretty easy to tell what's Gerudo and what's not. So, and the Golden Bulls are cool to zoom in. Sometimes it's a hindrance though, if it's like not super far. And like they do zoom in, but their range isn't like super exceptional. Like it is a little bit better than normal bows, but not like. Crazy. Like, it's on par exactly with like Rito bows, duplex bows, stuff like that. So, zooming can help. Sometimes it can be hindrance. But it depends on the use. That divine beast was taken over by Ganon 100 years ago. 
You must find a way inside in order to free it from Ganon's mouth. Okay, thank you, Zelda. I forgot about the first time dialogues here. I believe in you, Link. You believe in me, thank you. Seems like Arbiter isn't able to come. It's okay. We'll come back for you, buddy. No what? <laughs> Nothing unusual here? Why are you standing next to a barrel? That's pretty unusual. Huh. My barrel. You looking to fight? No, just the barrel. Uh, woo! Almost hit me. Not allowing that to happen. Okay, beetles just stomping around. Birdies. Okay. So here there's nothing too fancy we can do. I don't think. You can buy the single arrows that exist for some reason. I mean, if you really need them, they're there. We'll buy, <laughs> we'll buy one. There we go. Supporting small businesses. The Gruda Guards are the only ones that do anything. Yeah, like Gruda Guards and like the Travelers. Uh, Oh, palm fruit. Awesome. Do we need any of this stuff? I don't think so. Yeah, we can get those in the desert. Um, that's... No, no one's there right now. Meat. We'll pass on all that. I... Wait, what is that? Hey. Fish. All this stuff is fresh. Probably been sitting here for, like, a long time. That, that's even, like, curled up, that fish. That's not fresh. Don't try to fool me. Oh, by lizard. Okay. Oh, party lizard. I wish I kind of had that. It's okay. So from here... Hmm. Is there a... I feel like there was another scimitar. Where was it? Wasn't it like right outside of here? Not in that chest, is it? The chest behind here. Purple rupee, okay. Could use any money. We'll be getting more soon. Uh, one place I really do want to go to, though, is the tower. The, the Gerudo Highlands one, so. So that'll be a good war point for, you know, getting all the weapons around here. And even a close one to the Yiga Clan hideout, which we'll do soon. Full fruit. Perfect. Anything for lightning resistance. And we'll do this. It's getting a bit toasty. Okay. The fruits. Perfect. Up to yeah. Just eat up a bit. Surprisingly, this is faster than uh, just running or walking or whatever. So I always try to do it. It's by where Beetle sits, this, this, this commentary. I mean, we'll be back in like a minute. So like, that's why I passed it up. Okay. Any melons? I don't think that was melons. I can't tell if it's just grass or like melons. Whoop. Okay. First shrine right here. We'll probably do this shrine though. We can get some more uh, Gerudo stuff. This will be one of the four shrines we do. The rest of Old Aka has war points, but like, as long as we do four shrines, we can get at least one nice upgrade for stamina. Um, and then. The rest will just do the hard upgrades from Divine Beast Kills. The whole picture. Mm, what can we do? Gotta make sure not to get shocked. So I'm really looking forward to getting uh, shock resistant stuff later in the run. Mm. Yeah, 
we'll leave that there. What else can we get right now? I'm gonna eat like an apple because I hate the bee bang. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna cheese this for a second. Oh no! No! I know it's gonna kill me right away. I thought it drops further back. Ah! Why do I keep dying in shrines? <laughs> it's okay, the key to growth is being less clumsy over time. We'll get there eventually. It's a one. Not even a one. Wait. Oh, it already connects over there. There go. Open that one up. Another barrel. And what's around here? There we get it. Yeah, good enough. Then over here. Can't shock ourselves again. It's where that was gonna happen and it did. Awesome. Whoosh. Right. Another chest for us, which means more Gerudo weapon. Oh, that's not a Gerudo weapon. Put it away. <laughs> There. So I think we're good on this side, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay. I believe the other... Is there not a Gerudo weapon in here? Huh, I guess I thought there was. This is one of the ones I got messed up on. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. I really thought there was a Gerudo weapon in here. Or even a Breath of the Wild player, if you haven't gotten shocked in these shrines at least once, right? Just like, it's always so dangerous. Especially in the early game where it's just one shot always. No Gerudo weapon in this one. Yeah, I guess I thought there was. I do have a map where I like pin out the locations. I guess this is just I went to a wrong shrine. I, I thought there was a Gerudo weapon in this one. Oh. Good. Yeah, we're good. Do I prefer Master Mode Normal Mode? I mean, I like the balancing of Normal Mode better. Like, it's just more fit. Like, Master Mode's a good second time challenge. I would not not recommend anyone for the first time, obviously. Um, it's really not supposed to be. Uh, the balancing's a lot better. But, like, on Master Mode, what's nice about it is that... Just, especially in the late game, because you'll hit a point in the, like, your first run where just everything's very, uh, slow near the end. But in Master Mode, like, at least there's a decent challenge. And you're not, like, super, super overpowered in the late game. Compared to like how you can be in normal mode. You go from being very, very overpowered to just very overpowered. There we go. Okay, second spirit orb. We need the more stamina. Seems weird that there isn't a Gerudo weapon right outside the town. I mean, probably want to keep all the weapons in the walls because there is a few weapons inside Gerudo town. Okay. So after we talk to this guy, then we unlock the merchant for the armor. Am I spying? I'm not spying. Mm. Yeah, you can't really skim out of it regardless, so. As soon as you get that quest, then you can uh, talk to the salesperson. Oh. 
Oh. I would like a seal, though. Mm. Oh, they went so far. Okay, as long as we're on the edge of the wall, they won't catch us. I like how this is allowed. Oh. Sand seal. So we can finally get ourselves some, uh, at least somewhat appropriate Gerudo armor. It's just over there. We'll skip some of these cans for now. Most of them have like at least like one Gerudo weapon, sometimes two, I think. Some of them don't have any at all. But just like, I'm just trying to survive right now. Okay, we can finally get some form of Gerudo armor. We'll probably warp back for another seal. All right, I'm coming for the new fit. Oop. Yeah, I try. <laughs> this is why I hit the little stamina. I need at least that second fifth of a wheel. Okay, up we go. I need to go clothes shopping here. Six hundred? We got enough. Our first Gerudo set, then. Incredible. Ten out of ten. Wow. <laughs> Vey Link. All right. Gerudo Tire One acquired. Best armor. <laughs> you know, the weapons fit nice with that. It's better than being uh, naked now, so. Sucks you can't upgrade it. But there we go. We are now Gerudo. Just of the opposite gender. It's okay. We can make do. Yeah. I'm happy with my uh, three defense. Might save us from a hit. And at this point... Considering we're dying to like the stupidest things. I'll, I'll, I'll take that, you know? <laughs> Maybe we won't die to the key swarms this time. <laughs> if there's any. Is there a sand seal around? That would be really helpful. Mm. I don't seal one around anywhere. The cave? Is that a monster cave? What's in there? Oh! <laughs> That's a whole nest full of those guys. Let's well, not right now. While well, his archer's just very blind. I think he uh, lied on his uh, job application there. Didn't even do his job. At least he won't hurt his foot with chest now. Exactly. Naked Link now has protection. I could have warped over to get a seal. Because before we get into the town, I do want to go to the Highlands area a bit. At least a tower. Because there are some really good weapons I want to get first. And oh my god, we almost died. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know if those chests are or could be. That's a fake one. <laughs> Almost got trolled by that. Just right outside here. Sapphire, awesome. You're not a sapphire. You're my enemy. You can give me rupees, though. Yay. Single one. Alright, open these all up. Ten arrows, okay. Yeah, there's a lot to loot around here. I'm happy about that. Mm. I think there's a chest around here. I'm just kind of looking around for loot and yeah, any of the stuff for coal resistance or anything we're looting is going to be helpful. 
Electric resistance, yes. A lot of good stuff in this area. The peppers, yes. Mm. Jump up with the final here. That works. Where is our chest? Yep, and it's cold. Yeah, I don't know. Trying to find these weapons isn't always the easiest. But I know that there is one right up ahead in the ice house. So we can definitely do that. No electric keys. No. So many shock things. We need the resistance so bad. Just down here, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Could be up above. Probably up above. Okay, that's fine. Baked apple. And then, uh, yeah, a little cold resistance. How do you get up though? I think there's a ladder. Oh, screw it. The rock is now the ladder. That is the loss of this game. Anything you can climb is a ladder. Uh, oh, that was close. I passed it? Where? Where are they hiding? It's not in the tower, is it? Is it? Yeah, there's a partial ladder. Okay, golden bow back there. Looking to stock up on everything. Mm. Oh, the, oh, I passed the ladder. Like an idiot. Okay. Carpenter. Well, she wouldn't know where it is. Why can't I look for just like basic weapons? No. Ice house is cool. I like how it's there. Just like, I don't know. It's fitting for desert area that needs one, you know, near a city. I don't know why it's so far from it though, but at least it exists. There's a golden ball in the ice house in a frozen ice chunk. Really? There we go. We'll burn this away. A few fire arrows. A golden bow! Yes! Okay. That was a nice hidden one. Okay, it wasn't the ice block. Guess you never fully know. How many golden bows do we have? We'll go... We gotta go over here to where the tower is. Oh, no! Not electric keys. There you go. Bye-bye, electric keys. Okay. And so close. Oh, no! Are you serious? I can't do this. Something as simple as staying on a pillar. Okay, that's the tower we need. We can make it up there. There we go. This tower will be a nice war point for everything we need to do around here. Might as well. There we go. Broke. That's okay. We need some uh, flint for a quest later. And also any gemstones. It's gonna be cold in general, so might as well. Mm, what can we do? Put 
Perfect. A blizzrobe. Avoid you for a sec. Oh, no, thank you. Ah, oh, so many powerful enemies here. Okay, we really need to catch up to them. Should we loot that? It's like, I can loot more, but it's dangerous and also like, gonna have to use bombs and it's not always helpful because, well, bombs make everything go everywhere. I know there's like a set path into that area. I don't remember exactly where it is. It might be between here. Maybe that's just a wall. I know it exists though. It's like an actual like mini walkway that leads into the tower region. Oh my God, we got sniped. Ah, <gasps> uh, everything's so, <laughs> everything's so overpowered. Uh, at least we're up here. That's kind of more in the direction of where I want to go anyways, so we're fine. Flint. Okay. Yeah, I think it's up there. Maybe there's a way around. There. I'm not sure, but I know we're kind of in the right ballpark. So, assuming we climb that, then we'll be a lot closer. What's the temperature? Yeah, we're doing good. Good thing we had this cold resistance, so. Mm. We do have some stamina food, which I might use. Only if I really need to, though. Or honestly, with our stamina, I think just one good climb without hops could uh, do it for us. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay, we're trying. Oh. You're all questioning what I'm doing. Just leave me alone. Of course, that local guy sees me, but I'm, when I'm right next to them, they don't see me. <laughs> We're fine though. And here we are. The tower region. The tallest tower. Just goes infinitely down. Oh. No moblins. That's a little bit too rocky. Forget this isn't a radiant shield. Just staying out of parallel distance from him. There we go. It was like between there, so. We're kind of in the right area. Yeah, they're like so far away sometimes. It's like, how do they see me? I don't know. Hmm. I think here it is the, uh, I know one was a phrenic bow. Save up. Before we climb up this whole thing. Do we need to get what's down there? Right here is the Moonlight Skimitar with attack of plus six. Okay. Yes. Our most powerful one. Now we gotta somehow make this whole climb. Uh, there's a lot of enemies. He has a banana. My banana. Yay, thank you. Mighty. Okay, what's in these rocks? I don't know. We're like just barely hitting like out of the zone with these blasts. 
Oh, that's a rock. Wow. Everything's here to trick us and deceive us. Nobody's ki nobody's that kind to the Grudo followers. Oh, and he was sleeping. What time is it? 3.45. Yeah, we definitely woke him. Go back to bed, my archer. He no way he heard that. No. <laughs> okay. Hit him off. Kind of? Oh. He's on the wrong side of us now. <laughs> We're good. Is it still cold in this region? I don't even know. It's not. Okay. We just only had a long cold dish to use, so it's still going to run for a bit. Yeah, they don't see me when I'm up close. Besides sometimes, but when I'm like 800 miles away, sometimes, yeah. Oh no, he's got a spear. Rock after. No, don't throw him. So many projectiles. No, but cobble and projectile. Barrel! Oh my god, they're just throwing everything at me. This climb is worth it though. As soon as we make this climb, we'll have a lot better stuff. I'm gonna save just in case. Okay. Oh, this is what a fall. <laughs> this isn't good. Run. Oh. No! Oh my god, he came up. <laughs> he wasn't even in my camera angle. I was trying to defend from the other guy. Ah. That's so just unsatisfying. Many lives were lost. <gasps> no! I just spawned in. What? <gasps> That's unfair. Literally spawn camped. Oh my god, let's go. Ah! Too close. Ah. We're almost there though. Ah. Many lives were lost going up this hill, but it's all worth it. In the name of progress. Okay. So we do a nice wind bomb to get up. I need a cry emo because that was not fair. I know. None of that was fair. Go to the top of the tower. Close enough. Perfect. Yeah, the spear is just uh, worst enemy. And electricity, apparently. And sometimes bats. All the stupid stuff. None of these deaths were honorable. But it's about redemption. So you can only go up from here. Literally. Yes, Cass. Every time I hear Cass in the game, I just love his melody so much. Tower region. Calming down mentally from all the mental turmoil of dying constantly, but I think I think we'll manage from here. I was I was honestly thinking I was like you know what probably not gonna hit her deaths until like maybe you climb hideout might take one maybe Naboras who knows. There we go. Got a map and everything. I didn't even get the wasteland one yet, but that's okay. Not gonna get every single one we encounter, just whatever's convenient. Okay.
Okay, so the reward of coming up here is that we can now go to the secret stash right over there. Stupid. So dumb. <laughs> I should have just wind bomb from the start. But it's okay. <laughs> the reloads comes in handy. Midairs are so just stupid. <laughs> no wind bombs are nice though. There we go. Uh, what do we got for health? Items. Apple. There we go. The secret stash right here. This cave is so good. Oh. <laughs> I'm really trying to get it open with bombs. Perfect. That's one. The wind. Okay, fine, roll away. Be evil. There we go. And roll the last one. Don't even need stasis. This method just works great. Just like that. Maybe not. <laughs> Square ROMs are heftier. I need something hefty right now. Blow it away. What? This always works. Okay. Just like that. One hit. Perfect. And what's in here? You can also lock the true power of the Grudo. Yes. Grudo spear. Ah. Uh, radiant shield. Oh my god. All this good stuff. Another golden bow. And another moonlight scimitar. That's a lot of weapons. And yeah. Four weapons, one area, and it respawns every blood moon. So, all amazing stuff. And golden rupees. Wow. A lot of good loot in this room. This will help us a lot for the run. Okay. Still not super hefty in the rupee department. But that's okay. Because we'll be getting a lot, especially after the year clan hideout. A lot of stuff to sell. Okay. Now that we have that, we have four golden bows. Uh, two scimitars, two moonlights. Uh, wait, no. Uh, two scimitars, three moonlights, Gerudo spear. Um, and then, yeah, four shields. Okay. I think that's a really good start for this. And with that, I think we'll be able to start with the main story now. I'm just happy we have the Radiant, though. We can literally surf on rock with this thing. This will make a lot of these things a lot easier. Okay. But as much as I want to surf, it's like... Could be uh, more beneficial just going to the town and then... Going to the Eagle Hideout after that. Yeah, the Edgy Duality's in there too. Uh, it's Sheikah, not Ye not uh, Grudo. Otherwise, we would have taken it. Seeker Cave, awesome. Oh, the Sea of Silence Scimitar. Wait, it's Scimitar? I I didn't know that. It is it actually? Okay, I've been saying Skimitar like my whole life. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. Now we can make it in, though. Blending in perfectly. Not just with the outfit, but uh, the weaponry, too. Not just a traveler. I'm a warrior. Oh, and Goron here. Hi, <laughs> Goron. Because I saw, it's like, I saw, like, one comment about it, but, like, you know... Didn't want to be like alone in this issue because like I know like different dialects people say things differently, so like I don't know. But when I saw more, I'm just like, 
Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe just Thylock. I don't even know. I've only heard, like, Scimitar. Thought I said it as a joke? Well, I'll keep calling it as a joke. There we go. How did you get I mean, sometimes I mispronounce stuff occasionally just because it's like, I don't know. It happens. But like, other things I just believe that's what it is. More than a common traveler. See, I'm literally a Gerudo. Got your weaponry. <sighs> okay. Stretch. So, yeah, the Yia Clan hideout, hopefully that should go better. But we'll have the hideout and then everything with Naboris. Thunderblight's going to be a pain. The dialogue I've seen like a million times now. So, skimming's always nice. English is wacky, though. You say sword, not sword. I, got, I guess it makes sense, because W. So many like, weird like rules with silent letters. Mm. Yeah, so to speak to the captain, then the Yiga hideout can start. For some reason, I thought you could pick up that sword. I was like, wait a second. That was like a, a claymore. And you are who I need to see. guys they both had uh, symbols over their head Mulduga. oh yeah this person there's like four quests in uh yeah this area that involve uh well not really involved but they're pre for the thunder helm so i'll have to do those eventually yeah i saw the golden bow i was just looking around to make sure everything was good the golden bow right by the training yards And there's a few more weapons around here too, actually, so we can nab those. Where are they? Um I believe there's one like upstairs. Oh, crap. I know it's somewhere in the palace area. That's a spear. Oh, I would like the spear. That'd be kind of nice. Oh. Probably not. Yeah, that's like I kind of figured. It's like it seems a little off the limits. But can we? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm like pretty sure that spear is upstairs. Or maybe it's in here. Forget that this little area exists. Aha! It is a spear. Oh, we taken that. Two spears is better than one. Climb to the top. I like this little, like, side courtyard area. The royal courtyard. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Oh. Why, lizard? There is a golden bow in that chest, but I'm already full on bows. So we can't get that yet. And, oh. Nope. <laughs> that jump was funny. Finally, there is another scimitar. Scimitar. Whatever you want to call it. I always alternate. Oops. English is a confusing language. Okay. Well, I think we're all good. I was just exploring around the town. 
We'll come back for the better armor, though. It's called a curvy sharp object. There we go. Just simplify it. Everything must be simplified. I am interested. Let's seal the deal. Perfect. I'm always uh, one for puns, so I appreciate it. Mm, okay. So we... I mean, we could take that way. Wait a second. Why are we doing the seal when I have the war point? Did I forget? I mean... Yeah. But to be fair, I like never do this ever. I always get the Gruta Tower much later. But yeah, after the hideout, then we can buy some of the armor. So that'll be nice. Kind of wait until I get the full set though. So didn't want to just buy one piece. Okay, I'm not gonna burn or freeze, luckily. Oh, we're still, uh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We can go over from the tower this time. Make it there much, much faster. Look at that. It only took us a second to get over. Only thing I fear, though, is the Yia Clan soldiers. There they are. Okay. <laughs> now we run like a madman. Ah! Nothing's shot us already in this run. <laughs> no more freak accidents here. Okay. That and just eat the other apple. No. I think they still can one-shot us. So I'm playing it very close with that in mind. You know, we just gotta take them on. <laughs> Did a little spin. What was that? I feel like I've never seen that before. Okay. No. No! <laughs> We're getting so close. Okay. I'll take all your spoils, though. They're just lining up for me. Thank you. All these trained soldiers dying to the hands of an amateur. I love it. Burn everything. I mean, which ones have good loot? Because I know some of them have monsters. I don't even know. Oh, did that burn somehow? I don't know. Guess it did. Oh, this one will uh, chuck a little bomb in. Yeah, we can take that stuff. I love the Yiga weapons though. They're so cool. We'll do one more. I don't know if it's worth it. No one the arrow. Don't burn me. Okay, it is, in fact, enemies. There we go. I mean, hey, the more stuff I take, the more stuff I can sell. So. Oh. Just pick the arrow back up again. What's in here? It's a weapon off to drop it. Sapphire, yes. All good stuff. Oh, okay. It's getting more interesting now that we have enough weapons to actually start like hitting things and defending ourselves. Okay. Now, this is where the fun begins. Drop that on there. Oh, opal. Oh, they're already questioning. Bombs are loud. We're gonna save. Because I want I wanna keep that opal. 
I'm very petty. Not, I don't think that pot always drops the multiple, so. Okay. This will be simple, though. Scoot on around. Uh, what do we do next? Gotta get our banana toss in here. There we go. He saw it. <laughs> He's dummy. Look, I'm like walking at full speed. Doesn't even hear me. And for the rest of these guys, I mean, there's a few ways we can do this. Hmm. Well, after we take the bananas, I want all of them. So many bananas. So much attack boosting food we can make off this. Topaz. But honestly, I'm not feeling like killing or even stealth today. We gotta do this the quick way. Pepper. Fire arrow. Updraft. There we go. Perfect. Whoop. No, don't close on me. Please don't close on me. Uh, did I land inside or outside? I, I can't tell. I'm screwed. I'm very much so screwed. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Leaving. Oh, come on. I'll keep all the loot that I got. So, we're not dying, we're not dying, we're not dying, we're not dying. <laughs> it's all so close. Running out. I'm dying to stupid stuff again. I can't have that. Yes. Okay, we're out. Whew. We save here and then reload. So we don't have to loot everything again. Uh, we still have to eat up. No blinky hearts. Okay. We gotta use pepper strats, though. Pepper strats! Those are the best strats. Oop, and just like that. Awesome! <laughs> Much quicker way of doing it here. Yeah, the Blade Master probably draws like N ore, but it's not worth stealthing through the whole thing and risking a lot. So. Jump across. Please get it. Please get it. Okay. That's always a close one. Okay. Now. Yeah, it's always kind of close. We'll just do the safe method. Did he not walk towards it? Oh, he is. Okay. There we go. We made it. Awesome. Give me bananas. Yes. <laughs> Mock Thunderhelm. I think there's some nice ores in here. Ooh. Ruby. Could really use some more fire arrows though, because we can do more pepper strats. Help for climbs. Considering we have low stamina. Ooh, topaz. Five arrows. 
That looks that floor just looks suspicious. Or just the rug. Topaz. All nice stuff. And we can get more uh, after the fight. A lot of arrows. Okay. I'm happy with that. Oh! The ego guy just came into here. That <gasps> sucks. I know you can do that, honestly. Yeah, there's the charge room. I I'm going to be returning, though, so. Because I'm pretty sure the Ego members don't spawn then. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we can get the nice golden rupees in there. Okay. Koga time. In a second. Yeah, so then we'll do the Ego hide up and then, uh. Hmm. Probably go back to town. And then ride all the way to the Hebra Skeleton. Or not the Hebra Skeleton. The Desert Skeleton. It's not Hebra. Uh, so you can upgrade her gear. That would be nice. Wait, did he disappear past Koga? The rupees are... I I'm not sure. I thought the treasure room was always there. No, they definitely still are there. Just wanted to make sure, though. So it sucked to miss them. Master Koga. He looks so dumb. I know. He's funny, though. Especially in Age of Calamity, I love his character a lot. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Let him be an idiot. Blah. And free bomb for you, Koga. Bonk. Bonk the Koga. I always just do one hit because if you don't do that final hit uh, at the end of this phase, it won't move on to the next phase, I'm pretty sure. Try to like that. Boom. See how that did like less damage? Because waiting for you to hit him a couple times. It's weird how that works, but that's how it works. <laughs> He's the dumbest thing in all Hylia. Yes. We love him, though. Oh, that's a quick... Oh, wait. That's a quick draw one, isn't it? I can't even tell because it's like... Huh. I guess these are normal ones up, honestly. Say that for the hard fight. There we go. <laughs> it's pretty simple already. Almost halfway. Badly damaged. Oh my god, Coca-Cola needs to be a thing. I love that. Ah, oh, the puns are great. <laughs> Not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> Besides, I'm more of a Pepsi guy myself, so... Shoot him. No. No healing. Not allowed. Forgot he can do that, but makes sense. Okay, this last part's gonna be easy. He has the same power as Ganon. Wait, I guess he's just not using it well then. And bonk. Just one bonk waiting for the second. Come on. Hit me with it. Woo. Okay. Bye bye, Koga. See you soon. In another run. Bullying Master Koga. I mean, he was kind of bullying me. I mean, I mean, can I say that? We kind of invaded his home. But he invaded my privacy, so, you know, it's justified. Got it. Conjuring up something evil here. Evilly stupid. <laughs> Suga will get me for this. Not Suga. I love Suga though. Like, 
they only added like two characters in age of calamity that weren't like here and like suga was excellent like two main characters oh it's gonna crush me it's not gonna work out well but i mean you can try <laughs> what an idiot well will he be remembered i don't know breath of the wall 2 will tell he'll come back as like a wait a second what if like i don't know like just beyond the point that he could be like a spear in breath of the wall 2 imagine if it's like some sort of boss where you like come back here and it's like him in like his giant metal ball in like a spiritual form like i don't know this just seems like it could be a setting for like a really ominous battle like when it's dark out and just like something comes out of that hole or just like everything that was shoved on the hole comes back up or something like i don't know something like weird and creepy i don't know thunder helm awesome we got it temporarily now but we'll get it fully later there we go now uh just go there we probably don't have to return it right away. We can just go straight to, uh, you know, the Great Fairy. In Breath of the Wild 2, he finally climbs up. The hole wasn't even that deep. He was just too lazy to climb. Ouch. <laughs> that would fit, though. But, like, it's interesting seeing that hole because, like, it's not the only one like it because, like, there's a similar hole that's... You know, the one that the tower comes out of. So, like, there's, like, no holes like that in the map. Except for the Yiga one and then the one that the tower comes out of. So, like, it's mysterious that there's only two and they're both in, like, the same place. I guess I found that interesting. Just from a lore perspective or something. Yeah. I think too deeply. <laughs> What's this? I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to startle you. I'm trying to start all my friends. Oh, wait. That wasn't wrong, Bum. Woo! Got him. I left the gems like an idiot. Oh, you're right. The auto save. Usually it doesn't always auto save. Screw it. We're going back. Well, oh, only trims off a second there. I'm not super impressed. We'll do it, and then we'll enter through the back area. Or front area. I don't think we can enter through the back. Yeah, we're going back for sure. Because, like, I just realized I have to go into the town to get the armor first, too. And, like, we need the stuff to sell to do that. Yeah, if I make a mistake, I'm not going to procrastinate on fixing it. We're just going to fix it. There we go. All good. Some nice distance for that. And then, uh, in case we freeze or something. You can always cook later, too. It's always bananas will be very helpful. That's an altitude. Mm. Any ore deposits around, I'm gonna nab. There are the luminous ones, which is good for gems, but like. To get the Thunderhelm, there's we well, gotta do all the quests in Gruel Town. And one of them's about getting uh ten flint. So we need to get those. So it's usually like a minuscule thing to worry about, but for this run we need it, because we only have like one. Okay, it's open. I think that one just always stays open, maybe. Yeah. But none of them return unless you do champions build. Then there's like the return for a bit for like one little quest. Loot room. Yeah, get everything. There's some really nice stuff too. Probably like I'm guessing like a good like thousand rupees worth of gems on top of this, so. Mighty banana. Look at all the stuff we can now get. Good looting. We'll get plenty of these swords. It's nice that it's really nice that there's a lot of Gerudo Skimitars, because like I just use them to hit, slash out anything. Any sort of crate. Or this. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> Oops. That works. All for one banana. Where is their fire? I would like some fire, please. I don't think bombs would work, would they? I am 100% certain they won't, but I'm going to try it anyways. I was 100% right. Okay, so luckily I have some fire arrows. I can burn away this and uh, go to the secret area. Look at that. Got some free chests. Gold rupee, number one, and number two. Pretty nice. <laughs> okay, not gonna bother with the one banana up there. Uh, I think we got the rest of the chest, so it was just that. Yeah, we're good. Okay. There's a torch thing right beside me. Uh, there's those lights. Oh, there was. Okay. You know what? I just didn't see it. <laughs> Rip fire arrow. We'll get more. Never pressed about that. Banana. <laughs> okay. So what do we got? Good weapons. Yeah. These ones we'll just use for utility things and the rest for combat. Look how that's the same damage as the spear though. Like that's kind of funny because like usually the spears are a lot less, but the same type tier of weapon is just, you know, it's so much weaker in the sword variety. So now we can travel back and hopefully get an armor upgrade now with all of our new loot. Can sell it for a pretty nice price. Ah. Ugh. Stretchy. Okay. Yeah, who needs main entrances? I prefer the Spider-Man route. Oops. <laughs> Keep calling Arbiter. Can't have you now, buddy. All right. Secret password? G. Uh, S. I think I remember it. GSC's diamond? Wait. Uh, uh, oh. yeah, okay. <laughs> I forgot it, not gonna lie. Oh. I knew it was either diamond or, like, star, so. Oh, well. The odds were in my favor that time. <laughs> there we go. Love the skull outfit. And look at that. Some fancy Gerudo armor. We can finally change out of this. That is after we sell some stuff first. Rubies, we can sell those. Oh, we're already 16, 1700. Sell that. Oh my God, we're getting a lot of rupees. Okay. So we're very prepared. I'm happy about that. Thank you, Yiga Hideout. Okay, now, trousers. Let's buy these out. Get the headband. And finally, the uh, spot, <laughs> spot jeweler. The chest piece. Yes, oh my god, with 300 rupees left. Awesome. Now let's change there and Look at that. Full Gerudo armor. It looks so awesome with this. Ah, I was really waiting for it. Oh, oh, it's a special one made only using stones. Wow. This looks so cool, though, with the weaponry. And our weapons are only even going to get better. Uh, I want to try with the nice looking ones. We got our best set on right now. Look at how that looks. Okay. Now that looks really, really awesome. 
I really love the themed looks in this game. The aesthetics are just so nice. Oh, we can't be seen. That's right. We're still man in this. This does look really badass. We got thrown out, but it's okay. Uh, maybe actually it's best that we don't right now because we can still talk to Riju just for the quest. Just change right in front of him. But yeah, we can talk to that and then uh, probably cook up some food. Yeah. Talk first, food later. Oh, she's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> I won't be rude. We're not sleeping. She's just up here. Okay, right. Forgot. Okay. Skim this and the memory and everything. After this, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Like, what Divine Beast. Probably, I mean, either Ruta or Meadow. More than likely Ruta. So. I don't know. Either will be nice. Have ever done menu overloading? I've done some stuff like that. Overloading a couple times just to like try like duplication, a durability transfer. Uh, but otherwise it's like not, I don't do exploit the things too much. I believe it's actually 100 for the fairy because uh, it's all depends on how many you do. The first one's 100, second one's 500. So it depends on the order. There we go. So we'll meet her. We'll meet her there when we're uh, ready. Okay. Awesome. In the meantime, um, let's cook up some nice stuff. We'll get some. Uh, Banana. Do three at once. Just for a nice, uh... Oh, that's level two. I'm an idiot. Forgot it has to be four at once. Or three bananas in any other attack thing. So we'll just cook all these up. This will be really helpful. Thank you, Yiga Hideout. I'm glad we're doing it this early. go all good sorry the sun was shining really bright in my eye just right there i was like oh my god messed with my head for a second hmm. just in case just in case electric's more our speed uh cook some of this together there we go nice level two hmm. i don't know Throw all this in a pot together. Level two electric dish. Okay. In case you need some of that stuff. Um, what else do we have? We have... Mm -hmm. We'll do one more round of bananas. Can never have enough bananas. And hey, Joey. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. Sunday stream, we're blessed. Yes. It's fun streaming on the weekends. I don't do it too often. Have to do it more, but just vibing. <laughs> uh... And so I'm just not cooking all day. We'll just throw in two mushrooms and then call it a day or a minute. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Everything's all cooked up, so we're prepared on that end. Um, last thing we got to do is just upgrade the armor. Not this stuff, the better stuff, of course. Hmm. 
Okay, now we have to go, I think, this way? Yeah, so we eventually got to meet her right there, but the skeleton is a little bit further out, so we'll probably do that first. Yeah, I always bomb the sand seal because I just got to go over there, and uh, I know it's, it's easier this way. Oh no, we don't have coal resistance stuff, I'm an idiot. Did they not cook up anything on that front? Nah, that was all before we cooked. I mean... What time is it? I can't see. Oh, it's about to turn uh, daytime. So we'll just eat a few things down, but then it'll warm up. Like, like less than a minute. Guess many sand seals were hurt in the making of this. Yeah, but we have a lot of stuff for coal. Just we're not using it. Fortunately. Molduga. Oh boy. Wasn't expecting all Molduga and Connor right now. We can't even do it right now because it's going to get really hot. We'll come back for him. Oh, man. Okay. That's going to be a fun challenge later. Yeah. Can't die to a Moldugo and then heat. Puppets. Assumably. I'm just mashing the A button, like, waiting for me to do the charge maneuver again. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to assume it's in this direction and then kind of go from there. <laughs> okay. Don't have any dead ends or, importantly, monster camps. Can't go any further. Thanks. <laughs> I think we're going the right way. Maybe? I'm going to eat something. So we're not blinking. Sometimes I don't even notice it because I'm just so, like, not focused on it. Oh, and that's a camp. Um, it's not getting the line of fire there. There's a lot of archers. Can I give you a ramen a blessing? Oh, my God. I haven't had ramen in forever. And, like, well... I haven't had the crappy ramen in forever. Like, there's there's two different types of ramen. There's, like, instant ramen noodles and actually, like, you know, going out to a nice, nice place. Which I like both almost equally. Because just, like, they both hit for their occasion. But hey, Barry, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, we have some fairies here, so we can use these. Yes. This will be very helpful for Thunderblight. Facing them this early on is not easy at all. Get the carrots are out outside. Uh, where exactly are carrots? I know there's always some at every fairy fountain, but like I don't know where the ones here are. Oh, Silent Princesses. Love these. Oops. Crap. I am gonna. I, I think I saw where the carrots were. Unless it was just another plant. Unlock this war point. There's no uh, Gerudo weapons in there. Oh, there we go. Carrots. Can now be a rabbit. We'll cook those up later. Probably when traveling more. Okay. You know, I guess now we can be wearing nests. I totally forgot that we had it for a second. There we go. Reequip this armor. Forgot to do that sooner. Now we can upgrade it. 100 rupees. Yeah. First one's always 100. So I'll have to unlock the second one. Probably unlock the Kakariko one then after this.
Fairy. The creepy fairies. Not a Zelda game without them. <laughs> Enhance away. Let's see. We have enough because uh, we got some stuff on the plateau because there's the cold area. So I'm happy we did that earlier. Now we can make this just slightly more powerful. Could possibly save us a hit or two. Okay. That too, and then just all of it. And we'll be good. So. As long as we finish Naboris, which we're about to start it. Gerudo huh? Spodular. Upgrade that. I'm like 100% certain I'm getting like half these names wrong, but we're just going with it. All right, all upgraded to five. We have 15 armor points. It's a nice start. It's nicer than uh, the, the Sheikah run because that armor starts off much lower. It's only two per piece. Because it's like stealth armor, so it's not as strong. So, even with the upgrades, we're doing pretty good. 15 armor points, I'll take it. Okay. Now, yeah, probably be easier to just warp back there and then take one of those seals than going all that distance. So, yeah, let's do that. Ugh. The Ocarina of Time fairy scream. Yeah, they always scream. It's like, why? Okay, I think before we start this whole segment, because we're going to do the boarding segment, the beast, and then the boss. Uh, probably just going to take two minutes, just got to use the restroom, and then, yeah, that'll be our final stretch for everything. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll still have enough weapons and stuff after that, but there's still plenty of ones we didn't get, so I guess we'll see how that goes. But I'll be back in like two minutes, let me just pause the game so we're not dying out here. Uh, but yeah, I will be back, just give me a second. <laughs> okay, um... Be right back. Chair stream. back sorry for the wait guys but i've returned <laughs> yeah it was it was chair stream for a bit i know chair kind of has a spotlight it's okay we are just here <laughs> but sorry for that but now uh with that out of the way let's see what did i miss hey thank you all for the raid uh is that thought lion live i appreciate it awesome <laughs> but yeah now that chair stream's over we can actually continue with what we're doing We now have our upgraded gear. A lot of good Gerudo stuff. Uh, tier 1 armor. No 
No, we're gonna head to Riju. Really kick this off. And just Parker right here. I don't know if there's any, uh... It feels like there's will be a place with some loot. Maybe a bow, maybe something. <laughs> I don't know. Is there though? No. Maybe? Let's see, what's in this chest? Oh, a golden bow, okay. If we could use it, but we can't. Okay, we'll come back for it. <laughs> there are so many golden bows. It's okay, though. What else are we gonna do? Okay. Read you. What's going on with you? That was an unintentional rhyme. 20 bomb arrows? Okay. Meaning that we're gonna use, like, 8 for the beast. Maybe a bit more, and then the rest and stupid stuff. Go. Oh. This part's gonna be tricky though, because with the golden, with the golden bows, uh, zoom in thing, it makes it so just I don't know. It's not easy when you're moving around a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, for weapons, I'll probably just have my base scimitar out and then uh, my base shield too. I'm only gonna use the radiant when I'm like surfing. Or if I have nothing else but Radiant at some point. <laughs> Let's move. Okay. Let's somehow not get shocked here. I don't think I'm ready, though. Protection. Okay, I won't fall behind. I'll try not to. Assuming you can actually catch up. Okay. Mm. Bomb arrows. Eat. I'm not even gonna eat because like we're one shot regardless. So it's like only eat. at times like this when you only have a couple hearts. It's like. You're one shot, or yeah, that's about it. Okay. Where is Camel? I want Zap Zap Camel. I kind of see his electricity. Mm. It's always such a stretch over because it's it's all relative to like where he is. I feel. I speed up sometimes she does too. Oh. oh, it's Zap Zap Camel. Uh oh. Don't shock me. No, no, no. Okay. That's not fair. Okay. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, okay. We just gotta get close. The region really sucks for this. And the zoom in's not helpful either. Oh, wait. Ugh. Okay, good. <laughs> no! What? This isn't even my fault. You're not staying with me, okay? You know, screw this. We're going on our own wave. There we go. Much prefer it this way. No. Thank you, Urbosa. Or, or Bosa. Mini Urbosa. I don't know. They were charging for the final one. That was a good push. And boom. Okay, not bad. Besides that one little... Just just on a hair there. That sucked. Don't choke again. We keep, we keep getting hit by like the worst things. Like, luckily we had that fairy. But... 
Half our deaths are just completely stupid. It's okay. We play, we played that a bit risky, but uh, we got it. Can't skip this because this shot right here is like one of my favorites in the entire game. Like that just looks so awesome. Like, we're just overlooking him. Okay, skip the rest though. Oh, okay, no death on that part. See, I was thinking like, before I started this, I'm like, okay, we might die in the Yiga hideout. We might die. Uh, during that segment, at least one death. I'm not sure where it's going to be. But no, if we died six times before all that, just the stupid stuff. Like, a swarm of keys that came out of nowhere. Just like, a spear. And then, an archer that killed us. And then me spawning right on, next to that archer. Like, three feet away. And then getting killed, like, a second after spawning in. It was dumb. Well, well. And hey, Ox. Sorry, I forgot to say it earlier. <laughs> Welcome. What would win? A giant mechanical camel that shoots lightning? Or a 17-year-old with a bow? Yeah. <laughs> that just summarizes all Zelda games. Just small person with weaponry. Like, destroys just all the evil. Somehow. And, like, I say small because, like, Link is, like, very short. Like, just canonically. Like, just, like, I never really even noticed that at first. But just, like, walking up to, like, all the characters. You just, like, everything always towers over you. It's funny. Okay. Hmm. Crap, Skimitar. See, these guys probably have a... It's like, there's no point in killing them. Okay. <laughs> oh, bye-bye. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that happened. It's okay. Now we can go up and uh, do this thing. This is my favorite beast, so happy to do it again. Whoop. Okay. Whistle sprints. Let's see how we can do this. Oh my god. Link is short. I mean, that, that's just not relative to my height. Like, I know I'm 6'3", but, like, Link is, like... I forgot what his, like, canon height is, but just, like, in comparison to everyone else. Like, everyone towers over him, so it's funny. Yeah, I'm 6'3". I'm very tall. Because <laughs> can't see it because I'm always just sitting down. And you see from here up. I have long legs too. <laughs> Good work getting the map of the divine. Didn't realize people on the internet were made that big. Is that how it is now? <gasps> uh. The terminals that can take Nabortis back. You're ready for this. Okay. Now, we can manipulate this beast. Thank you, tooltip. Mm. I don't know. I guess there's some chests we maybe can get. I don't know if, what Gerudo weapons are in here, to be honest. I'm guessing there is some. Now I'm thinking about it, but like, I never actually cared to look that up. I mean, now that's going to be helpful. We're like, don't have many slots, so it's like... For, why did I do that? I don't even know. Look at the durability point. <laughs> I was trying to parry. Okay, I'm gonna stop being distracted. Let's actually move this beast and you know, play this. Just like that, right? Oh, a couple more twists. We'll let him vibe. Whoop. Nope. I mean, unless you want to come in with me. Nope. Bye bye. <laughs> He missed his ride. He never took it. There are four, four terminals. Okay. Now we just spin it around and wait for an exit here. And, oh, chest. Don't tell me he waited, though. Okay. All the way around. We can get out. Oh, he didn't wait up. Okay, good. Oh, kind of. Bye-bye. Now let's get the one that's in this central room. The rest are, like, outside or on top. So let's make our way out. 
There we go. Pretty good. Oh, I don't want him spawning everything at me, so... Oh! Somehow we still uh, landed here. Consider myself lucky there. Never accurate with these bombs. Just like that. And perfect. Take a little scoop. Just gotta make it across. She'll hop. I love those so much. Save me too many times. There are three. Oh, not there though. It's a bit too far. Hmm. Mm, let's go like that, and yeah, that should do it. Didn't mean to move that first one. In that chest. I think it's a core. What's the correct way of doing this? Uh, I think just that. Woo! Okay, got it. <laughs> Forgot about this one, honestly. There we go, a core. We'll find a use for that. Whenever I see like the particles, I always think Blood Moon. Just because it's instinct at this point. Not even like at nighttime too, because like, I mean, panic moons happen occasionally. So like, they're just random particles. My mind assumes it's a panic moon. We don't have a raw scale for this beast. Not yet, at least. Bam. Yeah. What's there? Oh, just a little landing pad? I don't think there is anything there. I never tried to get all the chests in a area before. Something I've never done. Never really had a reason to, but just throwing that out there. I don't think you get like a special symbol by the Divine Beast like the shrines. Mainly because you can't re-answer them, so it's like not important to get them all. <laughs> Ever so slowly. Okay. I'll get this guy. Oh, I kicked it. We'll spin to win. Wheel of Fortune. Big money. They're always, like, just in the edge there, so, like, I have to spin it, like, almost in full rotation. Hurry up. Perfect. And this time we're actually gonna... Walk up right away so we don't miss the elevator. Okay. Elevator time. You know what? I'm really digging this aesthetic though. Need to take a second to just take it in. Not the highest point in the desert here. Thanks to my camel friend. Zap zap camel. Wish we could make it through. That's okay. We'll just hop on around. Oop! I always trip on something dumb. Oh, chest! I forgot about this guy. Ancient gear? Okay, not bad. Uh, can we gear ourselves up? We can't. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, there was a platform. I didn't even see that. Where did it spawn us? An okay place? I don't know. Mushroom skewer. Perfect. Where, where are we? Seriously, where are we? Oh, we're right here. Okay. Wasn't that bad. I think I could probably wind bomb up top. That did not work. That really did not work. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna spawn us right there or the previous place. 
previous place. Okay. What's right here? Oh, it's a little side bay. Yeah, I'll take that. Bomb arrows, yes. The more boom, the merrier. Oh, wow, we kind of went too far. Oh, uh, we went a little too far. Yep, that was a bit too far there. I think I had to use a fairy, yep. That's unfortunate. We're gonna ignore that happened. I was having too much fun just fooling around. Let's actually go, go through the other way. <laughs> I didn't expect that bomb to send me flying so much. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Best way up there, I think we'll just rotate this until we make it up. Yeah. Eventually, it'll get back to where we need it to be. Then we can take on everything in the central column. Whoop. Okay. Thank you for the ride. Okay. Two terminals, and then it's Thunderblight. Really looking forward to that one. Oh, very close. Woo! There we go. Well, not too bad. <laughs> nice little walkway to get up there. But it always does a cutscene, so we can't get up the first time. During the example shoot. <laughs> Go. Wait for stasis to end. Pick ourselves back up. And we're just gonna shoot it. No gifts for you. Only arrows. Which is a gift in itself. Usually I would use the bombs, uh, but they'll kind of blow me back instead, so. No. Is this thing down or up? I don't remember, but there's a chest here, so. And yeah, to answer your question, uh, all challenge drones are videos, because I like making them into videos. Oh, get it quick, get it quick. Ah, yes, no, bad, no. Ah, I'm clumsy. <laughs> At least it made it up, just not me. He returned. No. <laughs> Parry kill. Don't waste actual durability. Oh. It's okay. And let me drop it down. Just like that. Perfect. <laughs> oh. Hey. Watch it. Okay, the second one is right there. And did we get it? Oh my god. Just through a little crack. I don't know how that was possible. Okay. Thanks for that. Just one. Ooh. Is it higher or lower? I think it's higher. No. Oh, he's got an axe. He's got a big axe. Okay. I think it's higher. Oh my god, we're seeing circles around him. He's not hitting us. He's too confused. Oh, he's doing it. Yeah. I could blow him back. Where's our shock orb? Oh no! <gasps> no! Using up all of our fairies. That's for Thunderblight, not for you. Not good. Literally. Keep getting hit in the stupidest ways. Okay. But this time, we gotta actually fight. Yep. Get him all of our way. Whenever I avoid the fight, I lose something. No avoiding this time. No. 
My shots are better. Okay. Because that opens up the other door. Yeah. Which is what I want to do. Chuck. Ah. I missed. Don't, don't try to snipe me from here. You lost your battle. Unless your battle is just taking my fairy in which you succeeded. Shamefully. Basketball with Croton, yes. This is why I don't do sports. Well done. Take a foot over there we go. Final terminal though. And uh Oh my god. I don't think I'm ready for what's next. Quicker. All right, we can go down here. Avoid the electricity. Can't have another shock death. And oh boy, this is gonna be a pedal and a half. Night's boat can't have that. Oh, thankfully put it back. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I mean, at least we have some pretty good weaponry. We're gonna use the Moonlight Skivitar, the Golden Bow, the Gerudo Shield, and some good armor. So, I feel like that with an attack buff, we should be pretty good. Okay, let's go. I'm pretty hyped. Uh. This thing is fast. Okay. Watch it's gonna come at me. Ooh, okay. Need good timing for this guy only. That's. We don't go out like that. We don't go out like that. I'm sorry. He's not just gonna shock away our fairy at the beginning of the battle. That's not even a start. That's not a start. That didn't count. We couldn't have that. Run, run, run. Okay. Everything's good, though. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Okay. Down here is better for this. Woo! Okay. Flurry rush. Ugh. That's some good damage. Wow. Good choice to find him early. A lot less health. And already half... Halfway? Oh my god. I forgot the blight scale, so if you do the this one first, uh... <laughs> well, this happens. I don't even know where he is. This. Yeah, we spawn so far. Oh, okay. It's so hard when he's so far. Don't. Yep. I always grab the first one that gets shocked. He's returning all of his health, too. There we go. Somehow that worked. And he's on top of there. I can't hit him. Well, bombs will do. Get some damage. Stop the regen at least. Okay, I did something. Ah. He's just in rage mode, but he's not even attacking me. Ah, oh, I hate that. Any quick combos? No! He's not even shocked up. There we go. Ah, come on, break a shield. Any way we can. Beautiful, yes. Ah. Okay, got some hits. Any sort of damage we can. 
Can't get too close though. What? The parry didn't count. The parry didn't count. I hate that. No. Ah. Okay, I always forget. What's how are you supposed to avoid that attack? I don't know. Because Flurry Rush, like, he just charges at you. But parry, you get electrocuted, right? <laughs> Metal Shield Zone Parry, I'm charged. Yeah, I totally was not even thinking of that. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. All right, second go. More experience, no more dumb mistakes. Okay. <laughs> I guess just don't work, Perry. Perry's not, ah. I don't get the timing sometimes. Nope, I definitely hit the Perry button at the right time. There we go. Okay. Had to get an extra perfect parry there. Ah. Rush rates me Thunderblight. I don't understand. Every time I did it. <laughs> uh, I was I had such good momentum and now it's just all losing. I'm losing all of it. There we go. Okay. Can't kill momentum anymore. Just gotta go for it. I hate this. Okay, reloading. Reloading that fight. It, it would have been all fine. But he chewed up our fairy before he could do anything. Ah, I hate it. Hate that too. A real F moment. Still, Thunderblight will always destroy me. This thing is fast. No matter how many times I do it. I get slightly better, but never perfect. Woo! Okay. Uh, another good flurry. So many good hits with that. Just punish him. No. Can't let you win again. No, are you kidding me? I the parry time is so precise with him. Ah, uh, it's okay. We're gonna do what we can. It's not always good enough though. Okay. Don't regen all the back this time. What? That. Okay, let's go. Don't regen it back. There we go. Wow. We actually got him right away. Gives us a good lead. Oh! So much for that lead. He just took off a row and a half of hearts. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. No, no way. We actually got him? That all happened so fast. Ah. Oh, man. Okay, that was all or nothing right there. Literally, just insta kills me, takes out my fairy, then gets me down halfway. Just that was all too quick. I was not expecting any of that, but <gasps> the battle is over in like 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, but next time, yeah, uh, just get him quickly, and it just becomes a lot easier. <laughs> he wasn't hiding up there again or wherever he was. Okay, well, we've got four hearts now. Bit more prepared, bit stronger. We can finish this beast for good. Ugh, man, that was uh just ah. <gasps> it's always Thunderblight. Thunderblight will always continue to get me because it just other blights are just so easy now in comparison. But Thunderblight just he moves so fast and the timing so just so precise. And no other monster in the game works like him. So it's like the timing's all relative to just. 
how you fight him specifically. So, it's not easy. But it's fun when you can't get it. I like a challenge, even if it just makes me rage. <laughs> just, just slightly. But yeah, there we go. Finally a pog moment. <laughs> how old am I? I am 21. Yes. Okay. But looks like we did it. We have Urbosa's Fury. This will help out a lot now. Oh my god. It's going to make a lot more of this easy. Yes. Finally use Urbosa's power. There are... Oh, bleh, I, can't, I can't even talk. I'm sorry. But, but there are the Urbosa weapons, which we're going to save those for a bit later. Probably for when some really hard fights come up. So... Because I only got one use out of them, so like I got to make it count. But for now, I'll take the Fury, especially after that fight and all these unjustified deaths. It's okay, though, because it'll all be worth it in the end. So, there we go. I'm just kind of scooting around because uh, that part of the run's over. I think that's the hardest stuff. And the more hearts we have, the less stupid things we die from. But I'm going to save right here. Because when we do this next time, which will be Thursday, um, we'll obviously do what we can with the next Divine Beast. We'll have to get some more weapons around here. Um, we'll probably do Ruta, because that way we can go to Kakariko first and probably get some more uh, Korok slots, which will be nice. We can hold more weapons. Uh, because, yeah, the fights are only going to get harder from here. So, that's the thing. Since the Blight scale, Thunder Blight was easy, but they're going to get a lot harder. And the last one's going to have, like, triple the amount of health, so... We're going to need more weapons. That was just a little taste. That's all. So, with that, yeah. We'll pick back up with this on Thursday. Usually do these each day until we complete it. But uh have a couple things to do uh, tomorrow and the day after. Because I'm trying to get a video out for Tuesday. And then I'm going to be streaming my normal YouTube stuff on Wednesday. Um, and then, yeah, Thursday and Friday, we'll finish up this run. So, it should be very fun. Uh, we'll start a little bit later than today. Because, you know, it won't be a weekend then. But... I'll let you guys know in the Discord. Usually I announce stuff there, what I'm all doing for the week. So that should be really fun. And yeah, we're all saved up and it was honestly a great time. I love streaming the weekends and I probably will do this more just in general stuff, not even challenge runs. But it's always nice to see everyone and thanks for tuning in. It's always just fun playing this game. Even if, you know, it's something different because like sometimes I like casually playing through it and sometimes the challenge runs are fun. So I like doing everything, but everything about this game is great. So. I'm glad you guys like tuning in, because it's always a ton of fun. But, uh, with that said, that's basically all I have to say. Um, it's an exciting week just for the channel and everything, because, uh, it's gonna be, well, we're very, very close to 100k on YouTube, so I um, just want to say thank you for that again. I think only 300 more away, so the support's been great. I just wanted to end off with that, because probably by next time live, I'll probably hit that milestone. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching, because it's been really great. But, anyways, before I ramble on any further, I'm just gonna take it easy today probably eat some dinner uh but i hope you guys all have a great rest of your days and great rest of your weekend so with that said it's been really fun and i'll see you guys soon have a good one